Hello, hello, everybody. It is I, Neon Icy Wings, and we are going to continue our adventures through Mass Effect 2. Last time we stopped a bit early because of my eye and headache were getting bad. But now we're going to talk to everyone since we completed a mission. And, uh, going to talk to everyone and then really need to decide on, like, how I want to do missions, because I'm getting very paranoid of how things might go, especially after looking at the <laughs> last time we played, I looked, oh, it's my Medal of Honor, oh, it's the achievement list, oh, a lot of my crew can die, yeah, so I'm definitely paranoid. Commander, can I help you with something? Hmm, thoughts on the mission? How are we doing, Jacob? What's your sense of the mission? Probably the same as everyone else. I just want to figure out what the real threat actually is. Got no problem with risk. I just need a clear goal. Anything else, Commander? Hmm. Opinion of the crew. What do you think of the state of the crew? Well, we don't have a full complement. We don't stand a chance without the right specialists on side. Anything else, Commander? Service after I understand the Alliance. You made quite an impact after you left the Alliance. Miranda and I stopped a Batarian plan to release a biological agent on the Citadel. That's Yeesh. when I first met her. It took us out to the Nemean Abyss and back. Saved a Citadel like you, but what's the same? A good <laughs> deeds like pissing yourself in dark pants? Like a warm feeling, but no one notices. The whole Never thing heard that was like they're good at doing. But I know what I did, and I'm proud of it. And what I'm talking about I'm you. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. Have to say you run this ship tight, and we're getting things done. We keep on track and maybe we'll figure this out. I hope so. I'm not looking forward to the debrief if it all goes to hell. Is there something specific? Or are you just checking in? Hmm. Don't be so... Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I don't... You're so... I don't know. What should I pick? I'll say, mm, don't be so formal. I like to know my crew. Forget procedure. Tell me about yourself. Informal, huh? Everything's in my file. Ex-Alliance like you, no Reapers or anything, <laughs> but I got swept under the rug, too. The more good you do, the less they want to admit that something needed doing. Hmm. You're still in top shape. You look like you came through no worse for wear. If nothing else, the Alliance trains their people well. Once you live that life, you can't sit around getting fat. You know how it goes. Although I bet Cerberus puts you back together better than ever. Get any upgrades? Hmm. None needed. I'm glad enough they restored me to stock. Couldn't hurt to keep some spare parts handy, though. <laughs> I hear that. Your job isn't getting any safer. You know, I used to wonder what the big deal with you was. But now that we're in deep, I'm glad it's not me in the spotlight. There's no hiding, Jacob. Not for any of us. Don't worry. This is exactly what I signed on for. If that's all, Commander, I'll get back to my duties. There's a lot to get ready. Yay, I got Paragon. I am the mighty Paragon. You will fear me. So yeah, I'll just wander around and talk to everyone. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. You better be right this time. Cerberus Command Request. Reports tell us you've been operating in the Omega Nebula. We'd like you to look into a situation on Loric, a nearby planet in the Fathar system. Scan the planet for a base, where we believe Eclipse Mercs are holding one of our operatives. You should be able to detect the operative's transmitter. Extract the operative if the operative is beyond rescue. Recover any relevant intel that the Eclipse may have collected. This is a de delicate matter, Shepard. We trust you for to use discretion. Glad I didn't sign up from John Whitson. Hey, Aria, gave me this address. I think I met you on Af at Afterlife on Omega. You stopped me from joining- Ah, yay, yeah, saved you. With my powerful Paragon Pulse. You stopped me from joining up with those mercs who were trying to take out our Archangel. Man, I was so pissed off at you. I got blind drunk that night, and it was a few days later before I got it together enough to check the new vids and saw that almost all those mercs had gotten killed by Archangel. I don't know who you are if you got out there alive yourself, but thanks. I felt really stupid when I heard about the body count and how I could have been a part of it. I'll make the most of what you did for me, John Whitson. I wonder if he'll show up in Mass Effect 3. <laughs> and 
And of course, save before every conversation. I should have like conversation How was our saves. crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. Hmm. I worry about him. He's been through a lot, and not just physically. There's something about him. I just want to hold him <laughs> close and whisper. It will Let be me guess. Life. You're the audience insert. <laughs> You're into aliens. Are you attracted to other species? Well, part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. This anything is the... Else, Commander? How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? But yeah, she nothing is definitely right the audience anything insert. Else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Uh, never mind. I better go. Okay, maybe we'll talk later. I'll head talk to Joker and Eddie. Before going down, talk, seeing if I can find like Garrus and stuff. We're definitely going back to Omega. Oh. Interesting. Retrofits are always a pain in the ass. Hey, How you doing, we my boy? Garrus back. That's great, because <laughs> he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. <laughs> How are things in the cockpit? I assume everything is going well up here. I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against <laughs> manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. <laughs> Cerberus, dis Cerberus disagrees. I'm no fan either, but we're stuck with it. Until I find a soldering gun. it has gotta be some wires I can cross to make it hurt. No sabotage, understood? Yeah, yeah, don't break the boss's toys. Hmm. The mission. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. Hmm. The squad. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. <laughs> Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. And the good old days. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. Hmm. What about the old crew? What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. And the rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Hmm. Goodbye. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Hey, Eddie. Yes, Shepard. Hmm. Tell me about you. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Hmm. You and Joker. How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends me. The last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. Still love that line. Ready. Nothing else. Logging you out, Shepard. Because we need to go back to Omega to actually pick up the power couplings, as well as uh, get the scientist, because he should be on there somewhere. Let's see, yeah, this is the armory, so we already came from there. First, I'm going to head to the captain's cabin to find some things. Like uh, the headshot damage thing, I think. Oh, that is still my private terminal. <laughs> increases storm speed, increases shields, and... But I can't, uh, customize any of the other things. Head increases headshot damage. I'll definitely take that. Reduces the delay before you're... Alright, that's good. So, um, I'll take note. But where are my, my ships? My toy, <gasps> my toy ships are here. <laughs> <laughs> this 
still love that. Those cruise quarters still love that I can just buy toy ships. And they're just there. It's just too dangerous for them in New Canton. I'm shipping my family back to Earth. You can afford that? Cerberus looks out for their own. They're funding the transport for me. Good to hear, Ralston. the least they can do when we're putting our lives on the line. Happy to hear. Less death flags for Ralston. Always happy to hear that. But we have some nice brandy for the nice lady. How may I help you, Commander? Got your brandy. I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? Let's drink. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, That was awesome! <laughs> Nice to hear about Jenkins. Oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. Hmm. Why leave the Alliance? With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die, and if I can help them, they move on. Hmm. Either way, they leave. You're lonely. Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Rolic syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. Uh. I wish it weren't, but. Sadly, it's true. I understand. Treating Joker gives you a kind of stability. So does this ship, even if it's a copy. Or, hell, maybe it's you, <laughs> Shepard. Our removable center. A place for a person to stop and catch her breath. Or maybe I'm just happily drunk. Would it hurt if it was simple like that for once? There's our toast. Here's to simply being happily drunk. I'll drink to that. <laughs> nice to have a conversation with Chakwas. Research data recovered. And I'm slightly drunk. Wonder if that will affect conversations. Wasn't that locked before? How can I help you, Commander? Goodbye. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Yeah, I thought this was locked before. Oh, maybe this is where Garrus is set up. Neat. Eddie, what's this? What's this area of the ship? The gunnery control station. The ship's batteries are controlled from here. The combat information center operators send targeting information here. The CIC decides who to shoot. Gunnery control decides how to shoot. Hey there, Garrus. Shepard. Need me for something? Hmm. Normandy weapons. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Hmm. And Cerebrus crew. The Cerberus crewman giving you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. And finally, have you got talk? a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. After what happened I last time, I can understand. I thought I'd every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. Hmm. 
You're okay with this? You sure you're okay working with Cerberus? I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. Hmm, squad activities. What did your merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. Gangs must have hated you. It doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Never gonna say that, because he's a friend. Squad makeup. Tell me about your squad. There were 12 of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Solarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but he could hack any system ever built. And finally, your history. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? I went back to CSEC after the Normandy was destroyed, but with all the rebuilding at the Citadel, there was too much chaos for me to really help. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. How'd you get a group? That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. And finally, what happened to you? How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. Yeesh. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. So you want to track him down? Everyone is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. Give me a rundown. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Maybe he was a casualty. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedonis out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. And finally, have you found you him? You know where Sedonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Hopefully I'll be there to help you. Also, why do I feel like that is a bit of foreshadowing? One of my own betrayed me. I'm gonna have to work doubly sure to make sure everybody's loyal to me, won't I? I kind of fear that. Hey, Man, Miranda. What can I do for you? Normandy status. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. Can we talk? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. Huzzah. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Hmm. I'm not Cerberus. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. A Cerberus it's gave half you a Cerberus. second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. Hmm. Why should I? What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Yeah. Well, that wasn't my choice. My father created me. Like the Krogan clones? He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. Understandable, I guess. How angry was he? 
How bad were the terms you and your father parted on? Shots were fired. And Cerberus protection? You seem capable of defending yourself. Why did you need Cerberus? My father invested a great deal in his dynasty. It wasn't a matter of just leaving. So your father is Mog? I knew he would continue to pursue his... Dynasty! And finally, Cerberus appreciates you? I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. I kind of wish I knew the exact sentences because that feels this feels negative. You're better than that. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool. There, to be that's used better. Good, good. By your father, by Cerberus. Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Hmm, that's not what defines you. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. More Who about exactly your, father. your father. A businessman, but a very wealthy So kind one. of a peak it's 15 My father helix guy. deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus before I joined them. <laughs> That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. Self-esteem. You talk about yourself like you're just a oh. tool to be used by your father. Maybe. You I'm are who you are. The difference is, you were that, great before we rebuilt you. That was a bit weird. I'm great because Different words, but same told me conversation path. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Ah. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Hmm. Goodbye. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Alright, next. I'm still getting used to the layout of things. I'll head to engineering, talk to everyone. Even though we still need to get those power couplings. Wait, that wasn't open before. Ah, this is where you are. Paranoid little bastard, aren't you? Throwing knives. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. <laughs> That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. Impressive. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I'd give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. <laughs> Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. I knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. <laughs> I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. Interesting. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. I think I've got about 50 as well. Guess you're abusive man's big on forgiveness. I mean... From the way I understand Cerberus, they're quite a, not fractured, but endpoint group. The whole is fractured apart, but they all kind of wind about to the top. But they also have a lot of isolation between the cells, which led to all those bastards I had to kill because they were fucking about with Thorian Creepers, Rachni cloning, and killing Kohaku. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Talk more indeed. Amusing. He lives in the garbage. Beauty, isn't it? 
pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. And you killed him? Wasn't even a job. <laughs> the guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Kazak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Get the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. What about the ship model? Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varakan. Turian frigate, hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, <laughs> but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. And then you got a freaking model made of it. <laughs> Zahid might be a sadistic ish bastard, but I think I like him a bit. Talk to everyone, because we still need to get the cup clean across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. You such a dog. How's things going? What can we do for you, Commander? Will do, Commander. Still need to get those cup wings. I think I might have missed them. They have to be at one of the salvage merc, uh, not mercs, but salvage sellers. Hope I didn't miss them egregiously, or I might have to try and do. Oh, uh, if he got off base because I bought some stuff from him, it's entirely possible that I won't be able to get it if it is from the tur uh, quarian. Hope, and I bought everything. Eh, I'm scared. Because I bought everything from the Elcor. The Batarian didn't have much. I'm going to save before I go down. Okay, no good. I have some merchant districts. I'm going to save over Archangel saves. Because Archangel, I think I did pretty well. We're going to go ahead and dock and look about. Because we still need to go to the quarantine zone to find our Solarian scientist. Everything else, I think, should be done. Yeah, we don't need to see the docking sequence twice. And also, we need to give the... Hopefully nobody cares that I'm bringing Garrus. Turian Rebel. Hmm. Put one there. And exit. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also run searches for reports on Archangel. The various mercenary groups appear to believe that he is dead. Works for me. Alright. We didn't go into the apartments either, so... Ah, shuttle to quarantine zone. Okay. We'll go to Aria, hand off the stuff. Of like, Come hey, on, the mercenaries in. are trying to get to you. Then, we'll uh, head off to the Merchant District. Ah, good thing I came here. Okay, over Archangel. Hey, Arya. What do you need? Take a look at this data pad. This data pad was on one of the mercs that was after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell me how this information slipped the net? 
<laughs> she smacked him with the data pad. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Hmm. Morden. I'm looking for Morden Solis. The Solarian doc? I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. You know, what can you, you tell me if I already did this? If you really need to find him, take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you. Thanks in. for the information. Yes. And you said you had a mission. Arya has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? What's the job? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of Hey, I met him. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. Why kill Patriarch? What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. <laughs> Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. Why protect Patriarch? What's Arya's interest in protecting? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. Why ask me? Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. What other reason do you need? The real reason would be nice. People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this. Got me? Got If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on a payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. All right, I'll do it. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done. You'll get your due. I'll be back. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. The way that the game is handled feels Attention different. Has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thank you. Because since it's more linear, it feels like, I don't know, like something, if I can be blindsided at any moment compared to before. Patriarch. You again. Greetings. You have to get out of here. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course, Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her. I like his. I love Patriarch's voice actor. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Let us be your muscle. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows, while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could be. You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. You do sound you like do an ancient thing. Krogan. I'd fight I for you. I'd be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Find thugs in or near afterlife and kill them on behalf of Patriarch. Handle Patriarch. Either force the Patriarch to go into hiding or find another way to deal with the threat. Looking for someone? Out of our way, human. You here for Patriarch? What if we are? You gonna do something about it? I'm here to stop Patriarch you. Patriarch sent us. Said to do whatever it takes. You're Patriarch's craft? I wasn't aware the old man had one. Shows you how bad you, you are. done your homework.
I was hoping for an actual fight. They're dead. You killed them all. And everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. <laughs> Goodbye. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, be careful with Arya. Will approve for what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. Speak to Grizz. And then an update of the. Oh, I got more Paragon. Because I. I like Patriarch. I kind of have a. have a nice leaning towards. Old bastards who have like honor to them. Patriarch has been saved. Arya wants to speak with you. She heard you took on the blood pack assassin yourself. I wouldn't keep her waiting. And that's because I have respect for old people. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men set here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. No. Nah, he's stronger than you knew. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. Besides, Patriarch could be a nice ally. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. Hmm. Much appreciated. We could use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Thank you. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? Ah, nice. Well, I think we can leave through the front. Yeah, because I like Patriarch. He's old, he's wise. Maybe if you treat him with a bit of respect and less of a trophy, Come on, let me he in. can be quite worth the while. Now I need to walk around before heading off. I'm gonna check the quarry in first because I know I didn't buy everything there, so it's probably not you. I guess I could check this. No, it's armor, conduits, but it's for the armor. Okay, good, he's still here. Oh, how did I miss bees? Yes, I need them. Geth Plasma Shotgun. Medium range automatic rifle. Shotgun damage. Heavy skin weave. That's 75,000, and I don't think... I don't want to spend all my money just out of the blue. But, hey, I got the couplings. In well, I don't think I can go to the VIP area, so I'd rather not push my luck at the same time. Yeah, it seems not accessible. It does look like a load zone kind of place. I'll just head and get my, my, my doctor. Private residence. Access to not. Cleaning is pointless, human. There's a plague. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I live in there. I'm doing you a favor, lady. If you go in, the guards will cut you down. 
You can't do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human. Considering it's Omega, I wouldn't be surprised if this was some kind plague. of con. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. Hmm. I'm going in for... We can't go in. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. Who do you work I for? I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilok calls the shots around Rather here. no than She's not She's got no. a little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. I'm going in for Morden Solis. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Hmm. Let me in. I'll help. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? No. Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. <laughs> you don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? Hmm. Don't worry, you'll stay back. It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. I'd rather keep you safe. So we're going in human style. Wish that I could bring in my boy, but I'd rather not risk it. We need to be uh, on the lookout. I'm gonna make a new save, a start of this area save. Refined element zero. Need to be on the lookout. We have no radar. Checking everything, making sure. Doing clear searches because it feels like getting things is a bit more important than in Mass Effect 1. Okay, they have no nothing to say. Huh. You think if there was plague that could kill Turians, Turian mercenaries wouldn't be all that smart. Good luck in there. The blue suns and Borcha shooting anything that moves. I'll shoot back. in the street and burn them. Bank terminal? I'll hack you.
I go just double checking. Batarian victim. What you gotta say? Human. Should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> you need help. Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I'm looking for a Solarian. I need to find Souls. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcher burned Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you... <laughs> I hope... <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Damn. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. <gasps> oh, you... You help me. I'm here to help. I... It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm going to try. Your words sound sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Humans in the plague. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, had to be created in a lab. Very Since possible. humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Maybe it's the Vorcha. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Or are they too Vorcha dumb? are immune to disease. <coughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Fair enough. Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <laughs> Sorry, human. <laughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. The Vorcha. You were talking about Vorcha earlier? We were, For the yes. Quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. The Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory. But as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. And finally, Morden. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. How is he dangerous? What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Suns tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. I'll send someone <laughs> to help you. When I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morton is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I Thank you. Go. Goodbye, human. And I got Paragon. P -p 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 Paragon points for that. Go ahead and save over the Merchant District stuff now. Power cells. Hell yeah. Just gotta do the quick and symbol matching. Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. Console log. Entry one.
Entry 2. I could like turn off disruptor. There we go. Maybe. But entry three. I think he really does have the play. Gotta get out of here before he infects me too. Sounds like you have it already. Entry four. Stormy here. One last sweep of the area. Stay safe. I wouldn't be surprised if the blue suns were behind this. To a degree. Save just to be safe. That's what saves are for. Didn't even die of the plague. He just died. Kakoma Plaza. Blue Sounds. Wonder if there was something inter Wonder if there would have been is something interesting if I brought my boy along. A small slowdown of time. need to go. This way seems to be the best way to go. I am the Hackmaster. Oh, thank God you're human. 
Oh, thank Except God, you're ra racist. Those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are they after you? Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. Hmm. Vorcha. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart yeah. enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like Maybe us. somebody made it, and then you're using the Vorcha, the Vorcha taking over as the Blue muscle. Territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. The plague. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started to spread. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over this 50 is... known cases. That's it's when everyone noticed humans weren't after... getting sick. <laughs> after the everything. Came down and everything went to hell. How does it spread? Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. And the Blue Suns. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. Nah. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control, and the whole district turned into a war zone. I'm looking for I a need Solarium. To find Solus. Oh yeah, him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now, trying to help plague victims, offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure, a doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free on Omega. Grow up. You don't trust Morton. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You should go to the clinic. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morton's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I'll help you get there. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay, you're right. We'll never make it if we I stay I mean, if here. I got in here, we other people could too. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morton's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. And... I'll just take uh, some medkit. I wonder how... Do they just use, like, stock cough sound effects? Or did they bring in a bunch of developers and just like, Everybody, start coughing into the mic. I'll go ahead and save over that. Because I think everything's going good.
I love the minor slowdown. Sons have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Bodes well for us. And besides, it's not the Vorcha, it's the Blood Pack. Those were Blood Pack. Blood Pack. Blood Pack Krogans. So the Blood Pack is using Vorcha muscle. Hey, hey, back off. We got here first. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. Hmm. Who are you? What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. I don't like looters. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. Even What's though that's what deal? I do. It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. Plague That's a big you, word so for a looter. Well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? I want to stop. I want you to stop. No more looting. Oh, what? No. Gonna shoot us? But someone this will. This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Tyrion's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. All right, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a Solarian named Morton Solis? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. Hmm. Vorcha. What do you know about the Vorcha? The blue suns used to keep them down. But with all the suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. Not just Vorcha. I don't know who's going to come out on top. Blood we Packer just in there, too. The, hell out of the, way. the plague. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. Hmm. Blue Suns. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Used to. Well, they used to. <laughs> before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcha finish them off. And I'm kind of sorry to see them go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship. Kept the district in line for the most part. And finally, Morden. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. <laughs> no way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. I'm the All ultimate I know doctor. Is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. Thank you for the information. Goodbye. Have a, a nice retirement from looting. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry. You made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. And... It'd be hilarious if they put, like, a valuable item behind them. So that you would be encouraged to loot the dead while after admonishing them for looting the dead. That's the kind of game design that I would do. Kind of enforce people to play Paragon if they want to go Paragon. I mean, sure, I would call it a dick move to a degree, but hey. Some of the fun comes with a bit of dick moves. Like killing off the majority of the crew if you fail, apparently. Damn achievement spoiler. Hey, look at the achievements you can get. 
clinic guard. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. The Blue Suns knew better than to mess with Professor Solus, but the Vorcha, I'm not so sure about that. All right. Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Turian patient. Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. Here we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. I dealt with them, non-violently, but did I deal with them? This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Professor, we're running low on some toxin. Use the latter. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in batarians. Supplement with butemerol. Now there is butemerol. Got it. Senesine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Sure, a bit of stealing doesn't hurt anyone. Metagel capacity. No, no. Demazine toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. Don't mind me, just stealing out from under your nose. Sir. Professor Morton Solis? Meh, scanning me. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees, no mercenary uniform, quarantine still in effect. Here for something else? Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns. That, uh, I Data almost equipment. clicked Soldier. renegade. Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Maybe. I'll keep Relax, some. Morton. <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Cerebrus. Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? Colonies are... We're after collectors. I'm on a mission to shut down the collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. Hmm. I'll take care of it. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. More like they're coming to us now. What the hell was that? Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's marks. May come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I met a sick Batarian. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Suns, Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Hmm. Attack some clinic. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. <laughs> That's nothing major. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks Group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. I love the way he talks. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't I leave the love clinic. the Have way to look after the patients. Talks. Hugs. Vorcha. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. And finally, the plague. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm. Advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Why does it? Why does it make Unnecessary sense? Unnecessary mutations. What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus: testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. Maybe that's why there's taking. Let's so. head for the environmental plant. M6 Carnifex hand cannon acquired. The following squad members 
Characters are now able to use this. Shepard, Jacob, and Miranda. Cure the plague! Because it's so easy. 40 experience. Find Daniel. More Paragon! And Carnifix Hand Cannon. Let's see. Effective against armor, weak against shields and biotic barriers. Upgrades the Predator Heavy. I'll try this out some. This is probably the safest place in the game. Might have been. Yeah. We're heading out now. Keep it that way. Take out the Vorcha. More like break you. on my my safety zone you entered my no-no square love the music time like this where I really wish that I could uh, open up a full map of this area. Dang it, I wish it would auto-reload when I pick up ammo. Sit down. Why did you sound like uh, the dog from Adventure Time? That legendary voice actor. They are upsetty. Just fly away. I'm not gonna head in just yet. Gambling terminal. Hey! Some of this! Okay. Looking for patterns. Patterns of code. No, not you. You. All right, next. You. I look for patterns there. Decently okay. All right, from the looks of things, that's all we're getting out of this area. We're heading up. We need to try and find David. Or Daniel, not David. Damn, Daniel. You made me think your name was David. Okay, lots of upper green, orange, bottom. Exact. Orange, white, orange with bottom blue. It's not, there's not much I can say there because I'm just like really on the outlook for... Wait. Something popped up. Door. Doors. Saving to be safe. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Nobody I needs know to die. The, the plague, 
But this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. He's right. It doesn't make any sense. Can we release the prisoner? We can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? You can. We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Besides, you didn't really you. let him go all that much. I thought they were gonna... You still had him there, and I didn't want to risk it. Morton Plus, send you to find me? the professor could use your help. Come on, uh, we understand their fears. and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Uh, thanks again. I owe you... Well, everything. Huzzah for Paragon Points. Good thing we came here first. Ah, uh, the Vorcha have amusing voices. Can't kill me! Guess what? Incoming! Can. <laughs> Guess what? Bitches. It me. Man, it is thundering up a storm here. Anyone else want to poke their head? We'll stay up for a while. Rockets go down. You're not very smart. Vortra playing the game like I do. to use armor. Damn it, I missed. And I think I used my ammo already. Nope, ammo here. Well, you did die, so not wholly inaccurate. Nice. It's a knockout if all their brain is gone, right? Gotta keep an eye out for anything that I can take with me. Yeah, there's the stairway up. Man, the coughing's so horrific I can hear it all the way here. Also nice, Vorcha are self-cleaning. Also, I've just noticed we haven't had that many elevators since I played the, started playing the game. Before we head that way, we need to check this way. Because salvage parts... Meta gel. Close to the environmental controls. Let's get that cure in, then hit the fans. Well, we don't want to hit our fans. They help us. Ah, you don't come here. We shut down machines, break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. Why are you doing what did this? the collectors want? Ah, collectors want plague. 
you work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! Double coming. Burning an impact. Gotta yeah. hurt. Idiot fired his rocket into the side of a counter. Shepard, I've scanned the room. The central control system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Just taking a glance around, because once again, dick game design would say to put things elsewhere. Good game design says put all things up here. locked in. Once we get the fans going, we should be good. Well, we're gonna be fighting some dudes here. Sit down! <clears throat> How'd you even get in here? I have located the fan controls. There are two. One on either side of the room you're in now. <laughs> on either side, so it just feels like a either take out the waves or in between waves head to the control gurgle gurgle bitch one down one to go let's move Why didn't I reload? Question for the century. Again, why did I not reload? Game! I do not understand you. Hey, you missed. I'll get you. Why am I only now getting affected by the flames? And why did you fall down, you idiot? I coming to hate rockets. Would be nice if I could actually shoot my goddamn gun. He was firing rockets way too fast, if you ask me. Again, this isn't just the Vorcha, this is Blood Pack. Be it. Oh yeah, and I think I did everything in this area. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I'm not like that. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Yeah, and he lots thinks, of ways to help. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes heal patients. Sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. 
Think about what I said. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him <laughs> over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. Hmm. Will you join me? We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. Love the way they... I don't think there's much else to do here, so I think I shall leave. Well, I think I'll stay, actually. I'm going to look around for a moment. What? Why did I get five Renegade? Was it because I stayed? Was it because I fucking say? <laughs> <laughs> What was the from the apartment? What was the renegade part? Me. You told Morden about me, didn't you? You you saved my life. Hmm. Not all humans are enemies. Remember this the next time you're about to judge our species. I was wrong about you, human. I was wrong about hmm. a lot of things. How did you get here? The last time I saw you, you were too weak to move. Two of Morden's assistants found me. They gave me the vaccine and brought me back here once I was stable. They were humans, but they risked their lives to I'm find me. I'm trying to think, why the hell bring me to safety? I'm glad did to I see get you renegade? Okay. I owe you my life, human. Thank did you. I... What? Did the two human people from the... Bibbidi Bob die on their way in? Did I not kill all the Vorcha? So, that's considered that? I can't believe Morden said all those things. That's the only thing that I can think of. No, they got here. Thanks for bringing us here. How did I get renegade? How did I get renegade from that? How did I get renegade? What did I do was that was renegade? What did I do that was renegade? Is it literally staying? It's gonna be tough when Morden goes. I hope everyone here remembers everything we did for them. Is it literally staying? That was the renegade part? Just need to finish up here at clinic. Won't take long. Beach with your ship. Looking forward to it. We're I heading just, now. See I you can't on the think Normandy. Of what would have been renegade? I just can't think what was renegade. Recruited Dr. Morden Solis for the team. Examination of Omega Plague Cure confirms Dr. Souls' expertise. Can also use work on Omega as leverage against Aria, Aria if necessary. Got a gun. Got more rifle damage that I can't use. Metagel. Credits, element zero, peridium, a lot of things. Man, why did I get random renegade at the end of that? I don't know! Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You know the elusive man. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Human colonies are vanishing. The collectors have been abducting colonists from the fringes of the Terminus systems. No distress signals are sent out. No signs of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I, like I had my hand off my mouse. How the collectors did had to go this. quick. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. Have lab. There's a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. <laughs> no. Is that Maybe. an AI? He. Yes. This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board. Non-human crew members. Cerberus more desperate than I thought. <laughs> the collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. <laughs> I 
I got two Paragon. I got a bunch of research unlocked. Uh, and while she What's talks, this, area of the ship? this is the Normandy Cerberus technical assault lab, armor, you can investigate heavy weapon ammo, that will improve ship or team performance. All upgrades can be developed Inferno in armor, provided you have collector chitin armor. You can find these resources collector by assault rifle. Or while we haven't even run into collectors. Oh, yeah, this is just the upgrades that I have. About research. Research new upgrades drastically, dramatically improve the power of your squad members' weapons and ship. Discover research projects by acquiring new upgrades. For example, if you find an assault rifle upgrade, your scientists can study it, and they may discover a research project to further improve mm -hmm, interesting prototypes. Review prototypes. Required palladium. That would take about a third of the palladium that we have. That just looks creepy. Don't really care about these so far. Armor upgrades. Weapon upgrades. Hmm. But I don't use those. And I don't really use you much. But let's talk to the boy. Shepard, how can I help? Hmm. Upgrades. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Let me know if upgrades seem feasible. Can install them whenever you like. Uh, squad status. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Hmm, lab setup. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned <laughs> expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Returned Just the need more samples. One more to collector Miranda. data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. And want to talk about you. You got a minute to talk. Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Hmm. Any word from your assistant? Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. <laughs> Never used them in STG. Hmm. Special Tasks Group. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work, identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Hmm. How so? Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectres similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. I had to buy my own weapons. Uh, work in limited facilities. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. It's Security true. threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. The plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice. Retirement after SDG work complete. Hmm. Tell me about special tasks. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Oh, I Studied saved him. Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I met Kirihi. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Yeah. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Hmm, nature of genophage. What can you tell me about the genophage? 
bioweapon designed by Salarian science team, deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago, affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Interesting. Reason for study. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody. Dangerous. Nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. Hmm. Prepared how? What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth. Political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. Yep. And I'd say thank you. Goodbye. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. I love the way he talks. He's an amusing little bastard. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Don't cache. Take care of Garrus. From Nala Butler. Commander Shepard, my husband was one of the men serving on Garrus' team. I don't know much of how much Garrus talked to you about what happened. I don't know the specifics myself. Only that my husband died in a trap set by those bastard gangs. I know Garrus blames himself. He took every shot, fired his team as a failure on his part, and it was clear when he sent me the message about my husband that he thinks it was his fault. My husband would never have wanted that. He was proud to work of uh, the work he did on Garrus' squad. He was taking a back Omega from the gangs. He died fighting with honor. I miss him. God, I'd give anything to get him back. But whatever happened there wasn't Garrus' fault. You're his commander now. Please, if you can, help him stop blaming himself. And please don't tell him that I sent you this. Healing your facial scars. Commander, I've done further investigative uh, investigation regarding your facial scarring, and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggression acts uh, create adverse reactions from your cybernetic implants, while peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of mental outlook. I've updated plans. Hmm, interesting. Medbay upgrade. And Morden Omni Tool. Let's talk. Commander, can I help you with something? Normandy upgrades. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? They spec this ship to the original Normandy, but you were there. The Collectors cut her like butter. This armor just isn't top of the line anymore. People will die if we don't upgrade. Alliance had some new toys in Secret Dead before I left. I could try and pull a few favors. I need a lot of platinum. Let's see, Med Bay. Upgrades Normandy's medical facility with an advanced dream dermal regeneration unit. Using this unit will immediately completely heal your scars. Further scarring will not recur regardless of actions you take. So that feels more like cosmetic. Give me that heavy ship plating. That sounds important. We want better plating, yes. Now I'll head down... Uh, first to engineering. Give the coupling to the dudes. Yo. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profile. Yeah. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some skilly and five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. <laughs> A commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Uh, I'll play. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. Go easy on the new guy. My skelly and five's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. <laughs> yeah, right. You've won 500 credits playing skelly and five. 
Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. <laughs> so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs> I'm not good at poker, so I'm glad that the game... Why, why am I running wonkily? It was like my head bob was locked to one direction. <laughs> I was running like I was a hunchbacked minion to Dracula. This mission takes me back. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. Yeesh. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hanar. Damn jellyfish. A <laughs> Hanar? Me to death. Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hanar since. I should let you go. <laughs> Frickin' Talk Hanar? You got... Freaking choked out by the jellyfish? How? That's damn impressive. Okay, don't underestimate the damn jellyfish. Got it. Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. Anything to say? Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. I enjoyed it's it. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. What do you think? We must save you, man. Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. <laughs> if I survive. I'll definitely take you up on that. <laughs> make it maybe make it every two to three years, cause it's entirely possible I might get blown up. If I get blown up, well I might need help. Being put back together again. Shepard. Need me for something? Normandy upgrade. Got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. All right, we can do this. The Turian design Thanix Magnetic Hydro... Uh, Hydronamic Cannon is now installed. I'll definitely take that. Because we want this place ship shape. Shepard, need me for something? Hmm. Just want to talk. Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. <laughs> okay, okay. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Just glad to get that squared away. I want as many upgrades to this place done as possible so we don't have to worry. We got caught off, and I don't want that to happen again. Oh yeah, I forgot was coming in here too. To save. Commander. What can I do for you? Normandy upgrades. Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Advanced mineral scanner. The Android Group's proper, uh, proprietary Argus planetary scan technology has been integrated. Will greatly speed up planet scanning status. Yes. Commander, what can I do for you? Hmm. Uh, can we talk? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Okay, okay. Maybe another I'll let time. you work. Of course, Commander. Alright, so good thing I didn't do any scanning yet, because we just got scanning upgrade. I think that's everything. I'll quickly check out my captain's room. I wish there were better casual options. That's what I would want. 
I kind of like the scientist outfit, but it just doesn't fit my dude. And then I doubt that, well, maybe, uh, Joker will have an upgrade idea. And then we'll talk to our secretary. Ellie, I heard about Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. We're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. Yes, Shepard. Let's talk about you. Do you have a specific you. inquiry? Ready. Locking All right. You out, Shepard. Do you have any... Commander. Nope. Bye. See you, Commander. Just want to make sure you didn't have any upgrade suggestions. So we got three upgrades done. I wonder if they're... Well, I guess the couplings kind of counted. Morden's psych profile warned of hyper behavior, but he is like a hamster on coffee. He's going to be a very productive member of the team. Anyway, what's up? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, no messages for you, Commander. Thank you. All right. I think I'll do some of those side things. Avoid recruiting. I'm so used to Mass Effect 1's map system. Because, yeah, we're 100% here. Oh, I don't make it. I want to go... Ah! I miss... I almost miss Mass Effect 1. Zooming around. I want to go to Fuel Depot. Uh, buy up more probes. I guess let's head off to... This place. Oh, so this is what fuel is for. Got you. Let's do some scanning. Huh. Probes are kind of cheap, well, cheap enough. Thank God that I got a lot of import stuff. I got import bonuses. That's all I'll say. miss almost miss the ability to go on planet and grab things More of that iridium. Probe away. You can now afford Inferno. Ah, oh, that's kind of nice. It tells you. Would be interesting if there was something about flying into the sun. Well, a sun. Oh.
broke That's away. a high amount of platinum. Broke away. This is a very interesting way of doing it. Though having to spend credits. Is a little Launching annoying probe. for probes. But I. Oh, element zero! In research projects, element zero is used for bio amp and omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Considering we need some iridium. More palladium, too. Broke away. And it's still saying that there's a good amount of stuff on this planet. Let me go ahead and zoom about. Decent element zero gang there. With fire. Just get me all of this. Probe. Definitely feels like we're just strip mining these planets, though. Probe away. I'm still saying that there's a decent amount I can see there. Gonna need tons of probes. Probe launched. Woot. Launching probe. And with poor, <laughs> we strip mined this goddamn planet. Uh. Oh. For some reason, it wasn't letting me move. And I think that's everything. I'm gonna save, and then we're gonna check out the crash site in case anything happens. I have detected an anomaly. How so? Careful of my probes. There was a better way because I would be 
nice if it actually told me more. Or maybe I, I should have listened more. Oh, there. Launching a probe. Something on our sensors. Scans confirm the wreckage of SSV Normandy on the planet's surface. No life signs or mechanical activity detected. Stable landing zone. Land. Alright, now I know how to do that. It's not on the thing. You'd think anomaly detected would... Same... Would, uh... Would... It's just the fact that it was anomaly, anomaly detected over the scanner... Like, on the side... Made it feel like it was, uh... Gonna tell me there. But I should've been looking at the planet. We're gonna have to go back and get more probes, though. Feels odd being here. It's the Mako. We rebuilt that, I guess. So I have to look around. Luckily, they flash. They thunder. So long ago. Ah, to place monument. You think they could have put this in the citadel instead of here? where not that many people are going to come see it, but at the same time, it does mean something. What's that? Ah, can't go there anyway. You're not Mako. Ah. It's our little shuttle. I guess they've already been here a bit. Because there are things here that don't look like. But at the same time, don't see how they could have missed this many dog tags. If they've already been here. Fragile crate. Machine pistol fire. Maybe I could have meleeed it. I think I'm gonna wander around a bit, find all the dog tags. Ashley. So this is where, this was the cargo hold. Well, not cargo hold, but, you know. That's probably why the roof caved in, made it look like stairs or a wall. Kind of nice that it kind of confirms one way or another where it was. Check over there and make sure no dog tags flew. Well, they did. Almost sad that I can't take Garrus down here. At the same time, it is kind of nice to just be me, Commander Shepard, first human specter, captain of the Normandy. Even I couldn't miss this, the sleep pods. Frozen crate. 
it is. We can probably destroy it. And then we can take a look. Lots of fragile crates. I'll fucking punch you to death. Okay, good. I don't need to shoot him. I was the captain. I will honor my crew. Even if nobody that I knew, like personally. Even if they were just the rank and file crew, they served under me. Since that they would flash Joker. He, would ne he never left this place. Imagine the amount of times I left through there to the Citadel. I like that this isn't just a collection mission. That is what it is at the heart of it, but... At the same time, you're wandering around, you're visiting the wreckage of the Normandy. And I feel that elevates this. It elevates it. Something good. Refined element zero, what? Was this one of the engines, or did an escape pod fail? It could have been one of the escape pods that weren't launched. Because it seemed like the Normandy had a surplus amount of escape pods, just in case. Which, honestly, is common sense, if you ask me. If you already are worried that you might need to evacuate a vessel, you might want to carry, I don't know, 50% more than you need, just in case the others fail. Command deck. Of Turian design. I remember that. Data pack. Unrecoverable data. Data recovered. Spoke to the commander about this. I... all... something? All these damned aliens aboard the Alliance's most advanced ship. I just don't trust them. Especially that damned Asari and Aquarian. What does Shepard think this is? A zoo? Navigator Presley. Number two. With Aquarian. It seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage trying to improve the lot of her home ship. I can understand that. I would babysit my children or anything, but if she has to be on board, I suppose that's not too bad. For a while now, and I'm taking a look back at the past entries of this journal, I... how blind I was at the time. I came out on this ship firmly believing humanity was on its own in the galaxy. Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I'm proud to say I would die for any member of this crew, regardless of the world they were born. I'm glad that I enlightened your life a bit, Presley. Rest well, my friend. My XO. You had my back. I'm only sorry that I couldn't have yours. My helmet. Shepard's lost helmet was recovered. Now I just need to find one more final dog tag. I like this. Well, for a certain measure of the word like. I appreciate this. Still hate that Presley is dead. Like, from a story... 
from a I like the character perspective, hate that Presley's dead. From a story's perspective, it spices things up and makes things interesting. More refined element zero. Kind of nice that it goes through walls a bit. Just need to look around for more dog tags. I wonder if I could have placed that anywhere, but more than likely since this is a wide open place, probably not. Oh, I think I saw... No, probably not. Thought I saw a flash of a... dog tag around here, but it was probably just a lens flare. Kinda hate that this is the last, la the last uh, resting place of my ship. Best damn ship so good that they had to remake it. Even though you could improve it a bit. As noted by how I've been improving it slightly. At the behest of my crew. Huh? No data pad. I'm glancing around for any. Where's the final one? You're just telling me to get back to Normandy, aren't you? Getting lots of refined element zero. Now, this is sobering kind of nostalgic. Yeah, already got one over there. There was one in here too, so there's doubtful to be any else. Oh, this is that. And right over there was my quarters. The captain's quarters. Kind of cramped. Didn't have much to it. Yes, yes, you and it is telling me to leave. But I have one more to get. Unless it's a funny aha on my own. All nine, all twenty. I'm missing one. Again, times like this make me wish that the Mass Effect One map was still around. But it honestly does feel like only nineteen dog tags are here. What, did I land on the dog tag? I found my old frickin' helmet, for God's sakes. Even though I never wore that armor. The end seven. Seriously. What I'll do is I'll save and I'll take off because it could be a kind of gotcha moment. 
to a degree. Nope, there we are. Uh, 20 of 20. Not forgotten. Not for anything. Monument placed. Dog tags recovered. Helmet recovered. We're getting out of here. A monument has been placed at the last resting place of the SSV Normandy on Alcara, and the families of all missing crew members have been notified of their ultimate sacrifice. Shepard's lost N7 helmet was recovered. 200. Alliance funding. Element zero. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Things are quiet again. Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solis's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check, how bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead, thank you. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague, and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake again. Well, you've <laughs> naive but learned quick. Commander Shepard. The Alliance was grateful to receive the information you found at the Normandy's crash site, and we've sent it out to the affected families. By finding those dog tags, you have provided peace of mind for a lot of people. I thank you on their behalf. No need for thanks. They were my... my crew. It was nice to help them ever so slightly. 80% though. 80%. Oh. Another unexplored. But I only have one bloody probe. Ah, eh, we need palladium. Now we're out of bloody probes, so we need to head back to Omega, at least, so that we can uh, save up on more. Then again, that might have, like, the diddly D. We have used half our fuel. Dang it. We'll get more fuel and stuff from the, the fuel depot. I want max. Let's see. Then again, I could ma- I don't know. I don't know what the mass relay does. That scares me. We'll head to Fathar. Do more scanning there. Because we need a lot of fucking shit. Start the scanner. some of that iridium. Apparently this place is damn rich. So we're gonna strip mine this damn place. We have probes to spare for a rich planet.
Whoa. That's a lot of platinum. Well, luckily we can exceed our expected stores, apparently. Probe away. Get us more platinum, I guess. Jesus Christ! Platinum, platinum, platinum! And I've already spent a goddamn third of our probes here. It still says it's rich. Probe launched. Launching still probe. says it's frickin' rich. We need more iridium. Right? This is the Platinum Planet. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's Palladium. Yeah, we need Palladium. Hell yeah. That took a shit ton of probes. We need iridium. Get us some iridium. I'd say that's peak enough. More iridium is always good. Well, uh, all right. This is more platinum. There's tons and tons of goddamn platinum. Probe. Well, that's a ton of iridium. Palladium and iridium going up is indeed what I like to see. So many, so much platinum. Two for one deal? Hell yeah. Probe. We're, gonna, we're not going to have away. enough probes to finish the last planet of this goddamn place. Well, might as well. I have detected an anomaly. Okay, first I'm taking Launching all of probe. that. Follow the white indicator. Status of system operator is not known. General distress. Beacon auto process interrupted at parse point. Scans have found something. We're landing. I like that we actually have to find them. Garrus, Morden, with me. We have a lot that we can do with you. I think I'll save up and give you maximum idea. Find Palladium. Oh yeah. All I do is look behind me. 
So far, I vastly adore and enjoy this compared to Mass Effect 1. Recover stolen data. Commencing organ trauma. Then stay down. What is this? Solarian Secret Services. I missed. I freaking missed again. Holding cell bypass. Security logs. Subject service agent Tyrone Rawlings. Eclipse targeted agent Rawlings some time ago. We know Rawlings is connected to the encrypted data we acquired. The data could conclusively prove Cerberus' involvement in Rachni experiments. We believe Rawlings possesses a cipher that can be used to decrypt the data. Without a cipher, the data could take years for Eclipse to decode. Agent Rawlings proved difficult to capture, having insinuated... Uh, yeah, insinuated himself on a ship bound for the Attican Traverse. He had won him over the loyalty of the ship's crew, who believed him to be a human dignitary on a mission of discovery. Our own agents managed to disable the ship and hobble its defenses long enough to extract Agent Rawlings. We lost a lot of men to obtain this asset. This data had better be worth uh, the expense. The interrogation has failed. Despite some of our most advanced interrogation techniques, Agent Rawlings managed to evade our questions. When we applied more invasive methods, he proved resistant to those as well. Eventually, Agent Rawlings' resistance caused tempers to flare. We consider it unfortunate that Agent Rawlings did not live to pass the cipher. We have men working on uh, decipher the encryption now. As long as we control this data, its mere existence remains a powerful tool against Cerberus. And quite honestly, as much as I don't trust Cerberus... I do not trust Eclipse even more. Eclipse tried to kill my boy. So yeah. Plus it just seems like kind of dumb. We're working for Cerberus right now. Behind walls. Moral? You got a name? Interesting that he had a name when I, I didn't realize that. Well, considering they started shooting at me upon contact weight refined. I saw refined something something. So there might be refined palladium somewhere. Interesting. Let's see, anything? Hmm. Considering a named guy was that way, I want to check things out first this way. Knock, knock. Money calling. And this will probably pay for all the <laughs> probes I'm going to need to buy. I think that that'll be the next gripe that they're going to fix in the third game. Oh, I hate having to go back to buy all of these probes. They're probably going to fix it up so you don't have to do much of anything.
Because while there should be like some kind of expense to exploration. Too much kind of gets in the way of things. This computer contains the encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Hmm. Considering that the Alliance negatively affected... Hmm. I don't know. What would the recovered data for yourself do? That's my question, because I think I'm just going to full-on, like, not give it to the Alliance, because the Alliance kind of burned some bridges with me, personally. They burned bridges with me because they held Joker down. They went along with the council to cover up everything. So I'm just wondering, it's like, but what would covering it for myself do? That's the question. I'm just very thinking. But at the same time, this was about the Rachni, right? And I don't think there's much I could do to co recover the data for myself. So yeah, doing it for myself doesn't seem like it would do anything. It's just be like, ho ho ho, I have thing to hold over Cerberus. Give it to Cerberus, I doubt they'd really give me much, maybe credits. The information could adversely affect Cerberus, and at the same time, the entire deal about Cerberus is that it's broken up into various cells. And if this is about Rachni... Fuck it. I know the Alliance burned bridges of me, but I think I'll give it to the, the Alliance. Data uploaded to Alliance Command. Cerberus operative Tyrolins was found dead, encrypted transmitted to her decryption, and I got stuff. Complete a mission discovered by scanning. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Commander, we got the data you sent. If this went public, it could do some serious damage to Cerberus's image. This intel will take years to decode, but just having it is a huge win for the Alliance. Well done, Shepard. Good luck on your mission. Hello from the Reds. Shepard had a family on a colony that got hit. I used some contacts with the Reds and found a couple of people who said they could get you this message. You might not have much use of it for me. You spend too much time with the damn aliens, pretending your time in the gangs back on Earth never happened. I know you weren't happy when I found you on the Citadel a couple of years back, but I'm glad you're on this. I hope you find whoever took my people on Freedom's Progress and kicked their scaly asses. I'm glad it's a human finding these bastards. Glad it's you. Do the Reds proud. Ah. I'm actually kind of happy I didn't kill him then. Oh so yeah. Already we are out of fuel. Well, not fuel, but we're out of probes. We need to head back. I am terribly inefficient. We're going to have to refuel as well. Still wonder what the mass relay is about. I probably won't go over 26 because that seems like a waste of overall money. But let us head off. I fear what would happen if we didn't have fuel for a place. Start scanning. 
Maybe we... Maybe I will have to actually go and buy some upgrades since we're getting so much excess resources. At the same time, resources stack well. If resources stack this well. Whoa! I always dig for those. shake a stick at. Whoa. Hell yeah. Iridium and Palladium. <laughs> Although I just realized something that kind of makes me a little disappointed, that... It seems that most of your decision stuff for side quests in Mass Effect 1 appear to be like people sending you messages. But hey, at least it kind of ties into things. Launching probe. Just looking for any new super spikes. Ooh. Hell yeah. Launching probe. And this place is depleted. We leave. Ah, oh, fuck. Launched. Another rich one. This is gonna take all our probes. God. I wonder if they modified this so that you get a bunch of rich, or at least decent planets. Because I could totally see the original release of Mass Effect 1, I mean Mass Effect 2, being quite stingy with resources, causing you have to do a bunch of runs to planets. And people are like, man, I hate this. So not only do they fix it in 3, more than likely, I can afford that medbay upgrade. Yay, I probably won't get it. But yeah, I, I would totally see them being like, people didn't like the resource grind in Mass Effect 2. Let's make it a bit easy on them for the Legendary Collection. Or Legendary Edition. It is a collection, though, so shut up, me. Probe launched. Double then again, if this is the kind of stuff that I'm getting just by doing stuff in three systems. Maybe I should get the med bay upgrade. Launching probe. And then we guess depleted. Uh, this place still has stores of magnificent magnificence. Not the greatest. Launching probe. Try and save our probes for the next planet. Start scanner. Fuck, it's a rich one. It's a rich bastard. Launching probe. Let's use all of our probes on this one. Just so that we can have an even. Booyah. Probe away. Fire. Probe launched. 
Guess we got it down to moderate before we ran out of probes. Back to Omega. So that we can stock up on probes again. And I kind of fear the mass relay right now. At least the things we used to buy upgrades and stuff with aren't terrible. Only one planet. Okay, we fly around. This one planet has to be f with something. Punished with UV. Okay, I was like, punished? Is this punished snake? Probe launched. I'm gonna look for his... I'm gonna get its one. So we can... Probe away. Have a better time getting our probes up because we're gonna have to get our fuel. Excuse me. It still says it's rich, so it has to have like filthy levels of stuff in here. Here I am, Commander Shepard. The best damn surveyor you've ever surveyed. Launching probe. Give me all of that. We have probes to spare since we're gonna have to go back to... Omega space just to be able to. Oh, there we are. Probe away. Can always do with more palladium. Just a little more, because there might be one more super spike. Or then again, it is poor now. Yeah, it could be like this area is what's considered the resources of the poor. Since we have Probe probes launched. to spare and it'll even out. But only one planet. Interesting. We're gonna head back to the... Sahara Barak. Especially because I am not risking running out of fuel. Interesting that they force you to buy fuel, though. Overall. Any down here? No, nope, figured not. So this seems to be the last one we can do in this space. Then again, I just realized something. Technically, we were working for the Alliance and the Citadel before, so they probably covered all our... like, fueling needs. Probe launched. Now that we're working for Cerberus and kind of on our own, we have to buy Launch our own probe. fuel. Kind of interesting to think about. Lots of element zero. I wonder where Caden's run off to. Because he survived, hopefully. At least we're 
Reaper's stocking up on Element Zero now. I wonder if there's an achievement for getting all the green bars up to maximum. Give me all of your shit, planet. Just strip mining this place. Peak's not high enough to worth it. Now that's a peak worth mining for. We have other planets to ravage. We can let that one go. Ah. Did the planet's goddamn move while I was scanning? That's what it felt like. Considering there's a little bit of element zero there, why not? And boy, howdy, did it mean a little bit. Oop. That's a nice curvature. Take it a little bit. Whoop. Probe away. Now that is also a curve worth fighting for. Uh, now that it's down to poor. But there were only... Oh no, there's one more. Hidden by the light of the sun. Visit 100% of the plants in an unexplored cluster. I got that achievement. Considering the excess I'm getting here... I might just buy the medical upgrade. Depends on what other, like, projects and stuff are available. Maybe I should have looked up what the most valuable elements in this game are. Element Zero, Iridium, Platinum, Palladium, what am I gonna need the most of? Now, Palladium is what we're lowest on overall. Launching probe. Give me that Launching Palladium. Probe. Depleted. Alright, now all this is done, we're gonna head back to the mass relay. Because now we can... Now that we're done exploiting this place... We'll bulk up on... Fuel probes... See if there are any upgrades that we can get. Now we'll probably need to use the mass relay to go to a different cluster.
next, I guess, will be... Shepard, how can I help? Upgrades. Any ideas on ideas, other ways? Yes, to expensive, but... Medbay. 50,000, but I have 87,000. So we'll have to look and see. Armor. Metagel capacity. Might be nice to have. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other ways to ideas, prepare for yes. the Yes, expensive. And then there's all these prototypes. <laughs> Missile launcher. Morden Omni Tool. Morden gets 20 percent. 3,000 element zero. That is paltry, my dude. But we'll probably just do it over here. It seems faster. Heavy weapon ammo. I probably should use the armor, but I like my armor. Collector's assault rifle. It's hard to be invested in weapons that I don't have access to. Again, storm speed. I don't get that. Eviscerator shotgun, not something that I have access to. Let's take a look at other things first. Trauma module. Why can't I uh, do it? Oh, Unity heals your squad to full health. Oh. Emergency shielding. Shield emitters are optimized to produce a strong, reliable kinetic barrier that can be active for hours. Because of the potential for interference, it's nearly impossible to run two active emitters simultaneously when one kinetic barrier is down. It's possible to activate a second, but this will generally interfere with the re reaction reactivation of the primary barrier. With the precise timing, a short-term kinetic barrier can be made that seamlessly retracts when the primary barrier... Ooh, but it requires more metagel for some reason. While I'll try to not get into a situation where that's necessary... Well... Considering that I have an abundance of element zero, sure. Take it. And now tech duration, we need more. Requires one more sniper rifle damage upgrade to unlock. Darn. Since we have tons, let's go ahead and get more damage. Alright. Hmm. We'll get more unlocks, because it doesn't seem like this is important. I almost want to look up, is thermal regeneration important? Probably not. Again, prototypes. Uh, let's get a shotgun for the peeps. Heavy weapon ammo, sure. I'll have to check and see what my current armor thing that's available. Cryo round technology. The collector's main weapon uh, uses the same principle as human assault rifle, but its organic component clearly set uh, set it apart. Its power source seems to be internal orga uh, organ with, bio with biotic capacitance. Its ammunition resembles pellets of metallic enamel that strip shields off enemy with deadly efficiency. Sure. And everything else can wait for now. Alright. Let's see. I kind of like the arc projector. But at the same time, grenade launcher is a favorite. Is a golden goodie. Careful taking out multiple targets of a single well played shot. Effective against armor, shields, and biotic barriers. Uh, targets with a non-visible laser, da-da-da. 
about the same time, Arc Projector is nice too. I'm gonna go back to you. I kind of wish that I could see, like, which one's better. <coughs> I'll give you that. Hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna assume, because it's obvious that they're different, because, like, this has less ammo than this. So I don't know. Everyone wields the weird, fleshy gun now. I say so. Do not d talk back to me. Commander, can I help you with something? Normandy upgrades. Any thoughts on how to prepare against the Collectors? We've got the best armor available. The rest is outside my expertise, Commander. Hmm. Want to talk about I'm you? More interested in just if you talking. want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Relax, Jacob. I'm just interested in what makes you tick. I'm a psychopath anyone else like said that. that. I'd walk away. <laughs> Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you, I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? Hmm. Any family? Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job, but you can't miss what you never had. You seem quick to trust me. You seem okay with taking a risk on me. Why? Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. I'm not used to seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job. A threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. Hmm. The job isn't everything. There's a lot riding on this, but we can't give up everything. Not always a choice we get to make. Good to try, though. I gave it my best back in the Alliance. Got labeled a troublemaker. They were always on the lookout for disruptive types. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. <laughs> we have nothing to hide. Let him watch. We're not hiding anything. Wouldn't matter if we were. It's not like they can reel us in. We're handling this. Whether they like it or not. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. Shepard, how can I help? Hmm, I'd like to talk about you. You got a minute to talk? Yes, we'd like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds. Yeah, other kinds of lies. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What did you do? What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage. Overcoming disease. How did it happen? Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <coughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Hmm. Perhaps they weren't adapting. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population yeah. spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. Hmm. What happened next? Because it depends. Krogan are the most confrontational. I've met a few good Krogan, but... Even Rex was about to turn on me if I wasn't charming enough, so... But at the same time, this is good news. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population.
Hmm. This is the best choice? You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide, or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy. Krogan included. Why not go all the, the way? the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal. Not a murderer. Genocide. Unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive. Still, have outliers. Worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. Hmm. Distribution of virus. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. Effects of How modification. Did genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. Did I save before this? I think I did. I want to say what you did was wrong, but I don't want to piss him off. At the same time, thank you for telling me my... It was like... Because I'm trying to think if they... F hmm. What you did was wrong. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can't stay here. Work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. <laughs> well, to be fair, I did blow up a... Krogan cloning facility. But at the same same time, don't have much care for that kind of stuff. Back for another lesson. I'm all for listening. Ever been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you <laughs> into slavery. That's why they send you. That's there, kind of funny and terrible. Bash your head open on the wall, or kill everyone between you and the exit. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varakan. Just want to make sure he didn't have extra conversational I stuff. To bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever I'll listen to him just bring. so I don't uh, no chance of disrespect him because I like we him. Did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Kind of funny that he has a security feed running through this place. Garrus put some crazy tech into the main guns. It's almost doubled their power draw. <laughs> they seem pretty wicked. Indeed. Don't worry. A few tweaks to the forward capacitors, and the balance is back in line. What can we do for you, Commander? Hmm. Goodbye. Garia. Well do, Commander. I'll head back to my... Well, first we'll check out the cruise corridors. Then we'll head to... My quarters, check things out. Just in case. How may I help you, Commander? Goodbye, just Commander. want to make sure. Just want to make sure everything is good. Shepard, need me for something? Normandy weapons. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? The weapons upgrades have gone in beautifully. This thing packs a hell of a punch. Huzzah. Just might give us a chance against the collectors. 
Cerberus, Cerberus, Cerberus crewman. I you think being part of the team that. Don't worry, Commander. And We're all working together. Got a minute. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Okie doke. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. And since we got something new out of Garrus. Commander, what can I do for you? Normandy status. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship mm. appears to can be performing. Can we talk? You have a minute, Miranda. There's a lot to do, Shepard. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Just want to make sure. All right, then we'll head up so I can check on my armor, see what my better armor has to say. Terminus increases storm speed, shields, and all weapons. Even though it's kind of annoying that it's non-customizable. Ammo weapon reserves. That gives me an extra shot with my sniper rifle. That is not negligible. And considering that we've got a decent amount of upgrades in, let's see if I can do the... I can. Screw it, let's do it. It's a ship upgrade and I'm kind of paranoid. I want to do all the ship upgrades. No messages for you, Commander. Thank you for checking. All right. All that's left, I think, is through the normal mass relay. There is Project Overlord. Local cluster already, 100%. Citadel, Help Zaid, and Firewalker. I want to... Hmm, hmm. I'm paranoid of recruiting too many people. Because I feel like once I get the team all together that will potentially affect things. I'm scared about that. Yeah, because like the whole thing is like, go build a team. And I feel like I might get blindsided if I do that. So I'm just trying to think of where I should go next. Probably help Zaid and Farwalker Rosali. Probably, at least. I think what I'll do is I will save the recruitment of the convict and the warlord to a bit later. And what I'll do is I will help Zaid come over here, do that. Then I'll go to the Citadel, do all that, recruit the thief, and then these two is what I think. I don't know. I'm paranoid of recruiting people right now. Ah, updated mass relay jump. Let us... Unexplored, it says, despite the fact that it's, like, a place. We need lots of platinum now. Oop. That was a jump. That is the platinum we're looking for. Wouldn't be surprised if that knocks it into depleted. Considering the amount of wealth... Yeah, don't want to prematurely shoot. Only shoot on yellow line happiness of ear-tickling fame. is poor, we'll leave it for now. Strip mine the poor fuel depot planet. Another poor one, but I mean, I guess it does make sense that there is a few
fuel depot right next to it. Launching a probe. Although, there is a thing to be said of recruiting people because that gives me more time to talk to them. Launching a probe. Again. All paranoid. Super duper paranoid. This is way different from the first one. I mean, for God's sakes, the first one threw everybody into our lap on the Citadel. Now they're thrown about in various different locations. And there are mission end screens. And again, <laughs> there's going to become a point where my crew is going to be put in danger and there's an achievement for saving them all and I am terrified. I'll save my probes for now. Makes sense that the planets further away from the station are richer, not to mention closer to the sun. But again, they were unexplored. Would be interesting if these are the actual planets from Mass Effect 1. And there are like references, but I didn't read all of them. Because despite the fact that I would love to read everything, that would take hours upon hours more. Like, I could probably fill an entire reading stream of reading all the planets, codexes, and stuff. I like to be, like, lore aware, but I also respect my time. Give me that palladium. Oop. Yep, there we go. Probe launched. That's what I like to see. And, um, oop. Mm, since that's one of our higher ones. Oop. Now, that's what I like to see. And since it is poor. Oop. Never mind. Launching probe. to the orbit. Hmm, this one's already poor. Interesting. Wish that we could sell excess for credits, because credits is what I'm low on right now. God, I hope I could buy all the ingredients uh, when we get to the Citadel. Go ahead and grab that too. One of the unexplored is for me or in general. Are these unexplored planets in general? Doubtful. So probably just, I've never been here. Give 
Give me that platinum. And we're out of probes. Luckily, we can go buy them. Right over here. At our local fuel depot. Let's see, how many places can we go? Just two? There seems to be a smaller system. Yep. We'll go do Firewalker. And then we'll go help Zaid. Of course we'll bring Zaid along. Always nice to enter a system with over half fuel. Like, honestly, there can't be that bad of a punishment for coming into a world, uh, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, like going into interstellar flight without fuel because it seems so easy to do. If it's Broke easy away. to do, it feels like, uh... Like, even if it's a planet's poor. Give me that platinum. That's worth Probably enough, launched. I'd say. It's in my lowest natural reserve. And there's lots of planets here. Start scanning. This one's rich. Rich! Filthy rich! Ooh. Give me all that platinum. Thank God for rich planets. Refilling my stock. Like, yeah, I am like 80% sure that they made this easier on the resources than in the original release. Because, dear God, if this were even like... <laughs> like, I don't even know. If you cut down our gangs by 50%. Like, I guess it would be manageable, but would still be mean. This generous just seems nice. I am down for this kind of nicety. Can always use more platinum. Now that's the poor territory, let's go. Now this one's also rich, apparently. Launching probe. Two for the price probe of one probe. Launched. Forget about saving humanity and the galaxy as a whole. I could just be a mining company. You know, just a mining company with the most technologically advanced ship in the galaxy behind Sovereign. Wouldn't really be fair. All those other mining companies having normal ships. Although you have to wonder how many Solarian mummified corpses are we just missing out because we're doing this all from orbit. 
Getting lots of iridium. There we go. Lots of iridium on this planet. And depleted. Went from moderate to depleted. Like that. Luckily, this will be the last one to scan, I think. Well, no, I think you act No, we actually survey and scan all of these ones. It's just that we're gonna scan and harvest our landing condition. So we'll need to save at least one probe. Poor, I don't expect more. We can get a bit more on the other planet and scan our land zone. Anomaly detected. Probe away. All right, so we can scan two more. Launching probe. It's on the other side. Find me that anomaly. I have found something. Let's go ahead and yeah, sure. Launching probe. And land. Garrus, Jacob. Because I trust you two the most. Got three points. Give you overload. Got two points, can't do them up, nothing. Oh boy, it's a lava planet. My favorite. I guess one bonus to deciding on just like uh, individual like planet levels means that we don't have to worry about designing super boring worlds. Ship is safe. We run into the gap far too often. I'm going to stay at the next site with Dr. Aloy. I think we'll be safer there. So we're gonna be dealing with Geth? Cargo. Let me in. Knock, knock. What's gonna be in here? Gap of dead bodies. Or an alliance ship? What's this? Don't sit, don't tell me to I, I leave because I did that. Primary systems online. Oh! This is Welcome the new Mako? Okay, this is the new Mako. Caution, guided missile system active. Interesting. Are the controls the same? Get out is different this time. If I even can, key binding. Combat vehicle. Mine is right mouse button. Leave world is F. There's no get out. Just leave world. Alright, guess it means that I don't have to get out in the future. Hopefully. Mission objectives located. Very interesting. This is the 
tutorial for what this is. If this even is the new Mako. Would you look at that? Look at what? Other research. Okay. Probably need to go up here. My bad for missing it. Obstruction detected. Path is now clear. For a moment, I thought we were getting shot at. Definitely interesting. It <laughs> and because there isn't wheels to worry about, it already feels better to use than the Mako. Rip Mako, though. It did have a special place in my heart. More research is necessary. things to find. Ah, uh, just sunlight glinting off rocks. Oh, come on, that was totally an outcropping I could jump off of. Research. More research. Got it. So we're just like researching like what happened to the ship more than likely. Final research. Kinda weird that the scanning causes the controls to go wonky. Never mind, not final research. But luckily, we can still go however we want. It feels like this takes a harder hit than the Mako ever did. Mission objectives completed. Sure, if you so say so. Research machine. Wreckage of Freighter MSV Rosalie. Hammerhead acquired. Recovered research data. Alright. Become the ultimate hero. A higher paragon that I can't read. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Prototype recovered. 
Good work on recovering the hammerhead in one piece, Commander. It will prove useful. So the data you recovered from the MSV Rosalie's emergency beacon contains significant intel on a few planets that Dr. Case and Dr. Oloy have in investigated. Eddie has added a location to your galaxy map. We hope that one of the leads you to a Prothean site. Despite Dr. Case's obvious instability, he's proven to be a brilliant and dedicated scientist. If you saw much more of his logs or journals, it would greatly help our outfits. Alright. I don't think that that would, like, do much. To, like, spark new conversation. And then we'll head back to the mass relay and refueling junction. We have used half our fuel. I know. I'm not a fool. I know what I'm doing. Don't tell them I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, now we're gonna go help Zaid. And then we'll finish with this section of space. I think. Kinda wish that I could, like, glance around. But that nah, that's what the rings are for. And besides, 71%. need to look at percentages more often. This is a poor planet, so... I'm gonna get only a little bit out of here, but... Luckily, I am decent in resources overall. Over overall. seems to be small time, so we don't want to spend too many of our probes. God, this is a tiny planet. What are you? Pluto? God, you are fucking tiny, but apparently you're rich. Big things come in small packages, apparently. Probe away. Probe launched. Give me all your resources, little man. All your resources will go on to make me more deadly. Launching probe. Or livable. Or both. Like, cover me in super spikes probe that, like, launched. make me healthy. Probe away. Palladium super signs always look the most, like, valuable. the way that they're <laughs> climb up the right side. Launching probe. I wonder what we're doing is, is illegal. Strip mining planets, basically. At least that's what it frickin' feels like. Oop. Always probe there launched. for the super spikes. I don't like using my probes on anything less than something like that. Launching probe. We mugged this planet raw. Nah, since we're lowest on platinum, we'll expend the probe on that when otherwise it wouldn't be all that useful. And then a tiny planet over here. What is with all these tiny planets having all the resources? What is this, a Napoleon system? Oh, 
Never mind, this is the Palladium system. Launching probe. Just have so much. <laughs> One of these days we're gonna get a planet that gives us all four at a super spike. I know it's unlikely, but I would love it. Just the a side of it, the imaginary side of it, makes me happy. Ah, this isn't even a scanner. Let's take this. We'll take our boy. Oh, he's already selected. <laughs> because he has to come along. Let's go. Seriously, it looks like half your face was added on. I wish I could take off the helmet of this thing. It would look so interesting. I want to see my face. Tapping into Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. Go. Keep close. Dead bodies. Not good. Shot in the back and left to rot. That's definitely Vito style. Let's push ahead. Hello, monkey. Ripped straight from the last uh, monkey planet. Same animation too, but I think the textures are better. Nice. Cute monkeys. Report to base. Armed intruders incoming at the southern checkpoint. Heads up. Oh. Not just any armed intruders. <laughs> Also, now I think about it, Zaid's voice sounds familiar. I shot you in the head. I doubt that immensely. This is slowing down. Get on the ground. Give up. I wish we could have access up there. I think there might be things. But it doesn't seem to be easy access. I don't even think there's ladders in this game. They're getting torn to shreds out there. Send backup. Oh, whoops. The backup got torn to shreds. Who would have thought? Bridge control. Vito, 
sounds like he hasn't changed. You know I this guy. I get the feeling you have a past with this Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Sun. You started the, the Blue Sun. The Sun only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So yeah, we have a past. You found it. Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. Interesting. He ran the books. I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Hmm. 20, 20 years? 20 years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Vito turned my men against me. He played six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. And you lived. 20 years I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot. Don't you call that a goddamn grudge. How did you survive? You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship being <laughs> disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. I know this is kind of a serious moment, but some of those shots gave a wonderful view of Garrus's ass. We'd better get moving. They're at the southern axis. All squads mass at the gatehouse. Now! They know we're here. Bring it on, you son of a bitch! I wonder why I got Paragon for that. Is it just because I lean towards Paragon naturally? I wonder if that's just how it goes. You have a overall of one, it gives you that predominantly. Still don't know where that handful of Renegade came from. Zaid Masani. You finally tracked me down, Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are, again. What was that? Gone nearsighted old friend. Cast near Burn fire, you idiot. Son of a bitch. He he ran the books, you say. Death Warren, Masani. He doesn't seem that smart. He's trying to blow us all what to hell. hell are you doing? Oh hey, I think that was a uh, will help screamer. <laughs> Did I see a T-pose on there? The game. That was unnecessary. We don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm going to kill Vito. You're endangering lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? I had to knock you the hell out. But thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies, whatever the cost. Right between the eyes. Kind of feels nice to have a paragon option to punch someone. Halfway to the shuttle docks by now. Hmm. You suggest we leave them. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Forget loyalty. We save them. We're here to free these people. We're going in. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it.
You can always kill Vito another day. that Vito died, but now we're losing time. Simply put, if we did this smarter, we could have ensured that Vito didn't get away. Find Palladium. This should come in handy. That water got down here fast. Simply put, if you do things smart, you can get your revenge all you want. Do something dumb, your people just get away. I'll take it. Oh, I can use that. See what this is like. First person to bring me Masani's head gets something special. Ah, flamethrower. Should have guessed. Give up. Let that loser die. You can walk out of here alive. I don't give up on my crew. Why did you not reload automatically? Suddenly go a different direction, you bastard. Can cut this job. In the 
cover. It blows up after death. <laughs> Various industrial bits. CV, my dear Zahid. If you just listened to me and didn't go in half cocked, you could have gotten to Vigo by now and not have put people at risk. Kind of fitting that I brought Garrett along for this one. Because he was after Dr. Hart last game. Wanted all that revenge. Just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Are you oh. hurt? Dave, you all right? The hell do you care? I'm fine. But come on, get me out of this shithole. Hmm. Why should I trust you? You put your revenge ahead of the mission. How can I trust that you'll be there when we need you? I'll do what I was gonna have paid to do, Shepard. Just don't expect any more than that. Now stop screwing around. Let's go. You brought you this your on yourself. Goals ahead of the mission. That's not the way this works. I've survived this long watching my own back. <laughs> no time to worry about it. Gang, the loyalty of the mercenary. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You. You have a point. Thank you, I'm at not least. Done with Vito, but I can put that behind me long enough to get your At least the game done. lets me know. Yeah, you got his loyalty. Yay. Let's get the hell out God of damn here. is it staying there for a long time. On my end at least. <laughs> it finally went away. I guess it's just that momentous a thing. Didn't expect to get a loyalty mission this fast. But yeah. Lesson to take from this, Zaid? If you play it smart, you get your revenge. Elfell, Ashland, Fine Rail, and Zuria has been liberated, though the company will have to spend millions to rebuild. Although Vito San Diego escaped, Zahid has accepted Shepard's command and appears focused on the mission. Got some experience. Zahid, powered unlocked. Launches a volatile grenade that explodes on impact, sending a searing waves of flame in all directions. This fire damage is effective against armor. And new outfit! Interesting. Firestorm, heavy weapon ammo, credits, and palladium. Anything? Usually you say. I shall check myself. No new. Guess I should go talk to people. See if I have anything new to say. So, Hadley, how are you gonna spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? <laughs> of course. 
Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're gonna kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. Commander. Hmm. That's it for See now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. Do you have a specific inquiry? Hmm. Goodbye. Logging you out, Shepard. Just want to make sure that I'm actually talking to people. Guess we should maybe talk, talk to you as well. But I think after missions, like major characters will have more to say, but the even like Joker level characters won't have as much. All right. How about another verbal lashing? Shepard, how can I help? How about you? you Not at the moment. Oh. Think I've ah. unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only one heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything Man. else? I'll let you. We'll work. be here if you need me. Commander, can I help you with something? Hmm. Opinion of the crew. What do you think of the state? Well, we don't have a full comp. Anything else, Commander? I'm more interested. Already? In this I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. We'll talk okay. later, Commander. I just don't know what progresses the you can talk to people onator. And since I am primarily a diddle, I'm going to go back to Ark, even though I don't really use it that much. I prefer to just snipe my way through. Granted, if there's nothing new there, there's probably nothing new elsewhere. Alright, looks like we're all ready to exit out of here. And this place is 100% done, so we can mass relay out of here. After we stock up on some stuff. Buy more fuel. Buy more probes. Let's relay jump out of here. Alright, a lot of stuff has popped up over here. Farwalker Artifact, Recover. So, we'll do this one, and then we'll bounce our way back and then head to the Citadel. At least they make the space travel more engaging. Start scanning. This place may be poor, but we can probably bleed some of this stone a bit more dry. Probe launched. Probe away. Ahead. Always like me some platinum. The funny thing about uh, our good old Solarian Doctor, Molus? No, Solus, is that I feel like I can disagree with him on things. He will like, oh well, I guess it's kind of a naive outlook on your part, oh well. But he won't like hold it against you, I feel like. Can I move game? Game, I'd like to move. All right, enter, exit. Holding me hostage, mean. Ooh. This one's rich. Although I must say, back on the refinery plant, uh, pointing a gun at Zahid's head doesn't feel... All that Paragon, Paragon Shepard. But hey, at least I don't have to deal with leveling up charm. I just have to be a Paragon. And then he gives me Paragon points. I am down for that. Just give me materials and I'm down. Ah, more platinum, exactly what I want. Cube 
spike in Iridium. Fine by me. Even more Iridium. Takes a lot to muck a planet of its resources, it seems. Probe. I depleted already. From rich to depleted. Probe away. Probe Well, I find it kind of funny that, like, working with Zaid feels like a bit of a rerun of Garrus, because Garrus is going to want us to go after the guy that killed his squad, because he sold him out to the, the gangs on Omega. Wonderful. The real question is, will it go the same way? wonder if it might be something like... They found out who was, like, on Garrus's team, and maybe they blackmailed him. Like, hey, if you don't sell out your team, we'll kill your family, or something like that. Like, either they're just gonna be Dr. Hart 2.0 for Garrus, or it's- which is kind of be Zaid 2.0 for us. Or, like, what? I don't know. Buy more probes. And let's go ahead and project Overlord. Ah, fuck. It's far away. One bloody planet. It's not even an anomaly planet. Interesting. At least this might give me an excuse to go back and get probes and fuel so that we can have a more surefire run at Project Overlord. Little do we know that Project Overlord will just be. A project to make the greatest manga to ever exist. I wonder if manga exists in this universe. I wonder what the Elcor think about manga. Hell yeah! More element zero. I am all down for more Element Zero. And more Platinum. Yeah, like, I swear. This has to be a, an increase from how it, things were in the vanilla release. They're just way too generous. This has to be the result of people getting annoyed with doing the resource management of Mass Effect 1. So they decided, fine, we'll have a new way of doing things. Alright, we're gonna head back to the Mass Relay because I do not want to risk going to and fro too much. Go full up. Kinda wish I could upgrade my probe and fuel reserves. Took almost half our reserves to get here. Typhon. Why does that not sound reassuring? You know, Typhon. The Greek abomination that scared the gods 
apparently all the way to frickin' Egypt, if you believe the Romans, I think. You gotta love mythological religious syncretism. Probe away. Always oh, looking for those peaks. Always gotta love more platinum. some platinum. We're not gonna act like some conquistadors. We take platinum. Again, with the small planets being absurdly rich. Platinum and element zero. This place is rich. element zero, there's usually not just one. Oh yeah. Give me that element zero, baby. Like, even though I'm not really upgrading all that much, I'd like to have it and not need it. Then need it and not have it. Especially in the upgrade world. Most definitely when ship upgrades are super expensive. These rich planets, they're gonna bankrupt me in probe buys. Launching probe. It is still considered rich. Probe away. After, like, how many? Hell yeah. Launching Give me that element zero. Full green bars. I will let you keep what little you have in honor of the fact that you got me four green bars. Launching now that's a pretty picture. Come on, there should be an achievement for getting resources, all four resources in one probe. More element zero. Considering it's the rarest, it makes me wonder, is that by design, like, our element zero upgrades, like, that valuable? Probe away. Or are element zero upgrades not all that cracked up? Probe launched. All right, since we have so much, we'll be kind, and mostly because we're running low. But it's just a land. What's land? Come along. Come along, Morden. I don't hate you. I love you too much to hate you. Morden's technological breakthroughs further increase the strength of his shields. All right, definitely want to buckle down on those from now on. Laying out, spreading out. Upgrades doesn't seem to be the go-to strategy. You want to buckle down. Maybe put ones here or there, but definitely go for operative. Like, not operative, but like the, the class one. don't know who I am. Mm -hmm. 
no way in elsewhere. That's the only way in. And a VI breakout. Interesting. Hello, the big cheese, and apparently I'm doing the Overlord DLC. All I know is I'm playing the Legendary Edition. So I'm just like, mission? Mission. Are you sure you're not a VI? Ah, there you are. I've locked myself in a computer room on the far side of the base. Well, if the computer is doing this, how could you trust the computer room? Should I watch the cameras? Be advised, this is a secure facility. If not that secure. Apparently I can destroy that. I don't know why. But we might as well. This is a secure facility. Yes, yes, over. Now, come on, I wanna punch the window. Fine, I'll bring out my pistol. Interesting way of doing things. Status report. Please inform the elusive man that we've made great strides in our research. His doubts about the lack of progress are unwarranted. A demonstration is forthcoming. Don't know why I couldn't just go through the door. You killed you. Either he killed himself. I swear, this is gonna be the VI. The VI itself is telling us what to do. Live death! Yep, I knew that trusting the damn. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Yes, you're creepy. Although now that I think about it, if I am doing like early DLC stuff, it would make sense why I got uh, Masani's loyalty mission so quickly. He's a DLC character. Also kind of makes sense why he's just a telling me story character. And not an actual, like, uh... Oh, it's the gas. What? Oh. But yeah, it makes sense that he would be just, like, give me anecdotes of his life rather than actually having a conversation trick. Excuse the DLC. I understand that. At least my sniper rifle is relatively equal to that of what I had at the end of the last game. One shot, some gap. <laughs> you had a shield too! Stupid idiot! Get on the ground! My question. Oh, he ain't bad. I was looking for thermal clips. Then again, you're gap, so I. Do you use thermal clips, gap? Have you been refitted for it? And I don't have ammo. Fun. Die! Oh boy! You have to destroy you! And they have uh, flamethrowers now. Oh, I need to use this more on you bastards. Get Ark! <laughs> Never mind. Still annoyed that it doesn't auto reload when I go from empty clip to full. Damn rockets! Almost looks like I shot it out of the air. Oh, that's a destroyer. I'm just sidestepping rockets. Here we go. 
You see? You see, this is why I don't trust Cerberus. They only manage to fuck things up. Oh, come on. You should trust us, uh, Commander Shepard. We brought you back to life. You know, and you, you had Rachni, you killed Kofa Kohaku. And you're just like... For a moment, I was gonna be like, can I just buy from the cafeteria? Do I have to, <laughs> Do I no longer have to go? To the Citadel to get things for our plumber chef. The almighty plumber chef. If a plumber if a plumber chef does exist, they do not make spicy food. Well, at least I can say the level design in this game is much, much superior to Mass Effect 1. I am all down for it. There are so many jokes that I could say about that, but I shall refrain. Why are there birds here? That's immediately what my brain goes to. Birds? In space. Headed for combat. Ah. Hate you, Geth Destroyer. At least you're not as scary as the Geth Destroyers from Max Fest One. They they bum rush you. They're horrifying bastards. Then again, these ones have flamethrowers. Thank God I'm a sniper. If I was a soldier, I think that I would loathe flamethrowers. But I am not. This is Project Overlord with an emergency message to Cerberus Command. Yes. We experienced a catastrophic security failure and are requesting assistance. We... What do you mean our outgoing comms are jammed? Gee, it's almost like when you have no oversight and catastrophic bad things happen, things get worse. I'm all for, like, testing things and stuff, but come on. Oh, I can't save? Probably because there's going to be Geth coming out of those doors. Oh, I wanted to walk across. I wanted to, like, Sonic adventure this. Right next to. Okay, I, uh, I guess getting into cover took away my opportunity for reloading. The reloading is a bit weird in this game. But I definitely love the mini games better in this game. They're so good. Simple, but good. We're gonna have a boss fight with a VI, aren't we? Invisible. I mean, I could do that too if I wanted. I could. I swear. I just keep forgetting it. I, I'm a sniper. Why get into a better position when you can just use your current position to kill? I am the philosopher of our time. How did I not get hit? Maybe I did. down I say no okay for a moment you look like a gap oh and I'm out of ammo oh no oh to get prime I, I need my arc no no I, I need my kind of weird that you can't like change your decision 
Alright, so that's the same one that I currently have. Hard. What? This should slow down. I do not want to know what a Gep VI is like. You got it. Indeed. You need to destroy the support struts now. They have their own capacitors. Try blowing them up. Why do you have explosives next to your support struts? Why are the rockets super easy to go fast? Never mind, I need my arc. Oh. Never mind, you just got knocked down. Whenever I see a big boy, I bring out the big guns. They're behind us. Support struts down. Bring it down. That's probably just gonna piss it off. Lol. Oh yeah, so they put like gun. At the doom. Gotta be kidding. The whole thing's giving way. I already had to have Sovereign drop on, drop on my head. I don't want a, a normal satellite. Ah, this actually gets a cutscene. Over here! You're alive! What the hell is going on around here? A man's reach exceeding his grasp. Come on, I'll explain. I'll explain how yet another Cerberus thing went out of control and killed a ton of people. You have my thanks, Commander Shepard. You bought us some time, though probably not much. This isn't over yet. Hmm, the situation. You owe us that explanation. This is Project Overlord, an attempt to gain influence over the Geth by interfacing a human mind with a VI. The results have been... Less than satisfactory. That's putting it mildly. I'd like to see what you'd call a disaster. You can't dismiss the entire project. We did succeed. At least partially. You succeeded at killing My tons brother, of people. My David volunteered to serve as a test subject, but his mind couldn't handle the VI connection. He's like a virus now, infecting our networks and seizing control of any technology he finds. It's why you had to destroy the dish. Imagine if his program got off world. Hmm. Infected. How does he take control of electronics? This is a hybrid intelligence, the likes of which I've never seen. I don't know where the man ends and the machine begins. What are the consequences? What's the worst case scenario? A technological apocalypse. Every machine, every weapon, every computer could be turned against us. If he hit the extranet, who knows where it would end. And you didn't take precautions. You should have considered that before you started the experiment. We couldn't be expected to account for every outcome. Certainly not the abomination David has become. David... Why not? <laughs> the VI has fortified itself in the main laboratory at Atlas Station. It's in lockdown now. To enter, you need to manually override security from our facilities in the Prometheus and Vulcan stations. Hmm. Override? How does the lockdown work? It's a fail-safe procedure in the event of an emergency. Normally, all three project leads have to agree to cancel the lockdown. But they're all dead. I'm the only one left now. I can give my authorization, but you'll have to manually reset the other two yourself. And what happens if I have to kill your brother? Let's just hope it doesn't come to that. Hmm. Prometheus Vulcan stations. Tell me about the Vulcan and Prometheus stations. Vulcan station is our geothermal plant.
plant, it generates power for the four outposts. Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines. We use them for our experiments. This station? What happens on this station? This is Hermes Station, our communications uplink with the wider galaxy. If you hadn't destroyed the dish in time, the outcome would have been catastrophic. The experiment itself? What went wrong with the experiment? David volunteered to interface with the VI to give it genuine consciousness. So fleshy AI. Safe, but with artificial intelligence, there's no such thing as safe. Bad idea to begin with. Then you shouldn't have attempted it. And what if you've never attempted to find the Reapers, Commander Shepard? That's Where an would the outside galaxy be thing. then? Sometimes you have to ignore the risks. Except I knew bad things were happening, so I went to stop them. <laughs> you were trying to create something, and you made a problem out of nothing. Tell me more about Project Overlord. We wanted to turn the Geth's religious impulse into a weapon. When we saw them following Saren, we realized they could be swayed. And if a proper figurehead was created, a virus with a face, if you will, the Geth might be controlled. Bold plan. That's an ambitious undertaking. It would be the perfect weapon. Victory without casualties. We could avoid war with the Geth altogether. That was the plan, anyway. Atlas Station. What can you tell me about Atlas Station? Atlas Station is the main laboratory where all of our VI experiments take place. It's your final goal once you've overridden the lockdown. It's also where my brother became something else. Well, I'm ready. I'm heading out now. The other stations are all within driving distance. Best of luck, Commander. I wonder what the maximum level is in this game. In original Mass Effect 1, it was 60. In modified Legendary Edition, it became 30. And so far, it kind of, well, at the same time, it's hard to do because it's, uh... Additive. Did we fly? We flew into a wall. But it's kind of additive. Oh, well... Oh. From each facility. Doesn't matter which one you hit. <laughs> Spin your good points. Oh, look, I can't. But you can't enter Atlas Station until you've dealt with both. Also, keep an eye out for Cerberus security mechs. The VI has likely taken control of them. Archer out. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, look at this place. For a moment, I thought that was a lizard. But this reminds me of like uh conditions indicate an aesthetically pleasing view nearby. Organic life forms may wish to take note. Lol but true. Lol but true. So far, this blows Mako out of the water. I am sorry, Mako. This is godly. I'm gonna suppose we go to other places, this is like a a hub overworld to a degree. So far, I'm enjoying it. Although, if this means that this, uh, if it means that, uh, the Overlord DLC is a DLC, that means that this isn't built into the base game, so we're not gonna have lovely. Ramona thought those were flying turtles. But it means that there aren't going to be Mako sections like this in the base game. Then again, what do I expect? We can't even leave this thing. Definitely have to look at that. It's the Firewalker side missions, which are free DLCs, I believe. Very interesting. Okay, weird. Why can't I just go down? Oh, I can't. All right. Still gonna go with my alien squad. Then again, we do have his loyalty. But I'll take these. Take my boy. Aha! Full operative. 
Your focus in sniper zoom is enhanced and receive damage bonus to all weapons. Yes. Evolve any power. Oh, I've become an assassin. Creepy. It'll be very interesting to see how things go overall. So far, I'm really digging it. This feels much more refined to Mass Effect 1. Lol. And so far, I love the Paragon and Renegade overhaul. Because in the offhand chance that I miss something, I don't think it'll let me know. I probably the people like me are the reason why we aren't allowed to know. People like me are the reason why they're like, fine, you don't get to know if you've missed Paragon or Renegade content anymore. Because you're just gonna min-max it. Because you have to know. You have to get it. It's not even damaging, it's just a mild annoyance. I find that amusing. But I'm gonna... I need... I need to look for those, uh... Cerebrus data packets. Because I fear. I just hope the game doesn't put them in a, a... A mean spot. And I hope that I can... Oh, hell. Fear me! This is like a reverse. I am the missiles and they are the gun now. It was flashing, so it was like... Eh? Is it thing? What? Oh no, split path. I fear split paths. But I don't fear this. Give. Give. Give me thing. Just Iridium. But I already have shit tons of Iridium. I still... A part of me still believes that the planets are much more generous than they were probably in vanilla Mass Effect 2. They feel way too nice, giving off way too many resources. It's like, oh no. I just get that feeling, I'm probably wrong. But they're so goddamn generous, that's what it feels like. Then again, it could also be that uh, free DLC like uh, areas give plenty of resources because I have more planets that I can strip mine how are three people hey, come on I want to get in there I'm the new commander shepherd now we go on foot Up. I thought I could walk. I want to go check up out there. That's a door. Where? But at least from the looks of things, I'll be able to walk around, uh, or, well, walk. I'll be able to fly around the pseudo overworld to my want. Thank you, slow down. I'm here to murder. Enemies on our left! <clears throat> Enemies on our everything. How did I miss? I'm a terrible shot. I am Commander Sniper. Down. I probably just kill stole. It was probably wholly unnecessary. Oh, we we couldn't just come back. Morning. Engineers log. We've registered a huge spike in energy consumption. My technicians traced it to the experiment underway in Atlas Station. We're trying to raise them now. It was already too late. Hacking done. Hackmaster. 
one thing I've also noticed, is they kind of uh, cut down on the amount of abilities as well. At least it feels like it. Oh no, it's getting angry. Yes, Garrus. Oh, there's a reason that we <laughs> couldn't come up here. There weren't any stairs. My sorry, game. You are intelligent. I am the dumb one. And I just gotta say, I find it hilarious that these free DLCs have, like, better level design than the core stuff of Mass Effect 1. Not really a dig at Mass Effect 1, more like, oh, this is where we we're going. Just like a massive blow-up on Bioware's part. Who needs clean jumps? I drove the Mako over dozens of mountains. I am the Skyrim Master. I feared not you. I am the Rocket Man. You are not. I still find it hilarious that scanning the ground just freaks Hammerhead out. What? But that's where we came from, isn't it? Well, only one way to tell in the looking like no, I'm dumb. Oh, that sinks. This is the most dangerous game of Frogger I've ever played. You've heard of Frogger, and you've heard of the most dangerous game. Now get ready for Frogger in the most dangerous game. I was wondering where this was sending me. Tons of Iridium! Well, tons, quote, quote. Not terrible. Now we need to land. So we can super jump. Silly surferous turret. You thought that you... Oh, the Mako made a joke of our rocket turrets. Make some automatic turrets. And there's a dead body over there. Sadness. Obviously, now we scan the body. He's not made of iridium. That's good. Alright. Looks like we have to frogger up. And the thrust on this thing's hover thrust must be so powerful, it's sending these rocks into the lava. Which, honestly, I guess it checks out. Done for the moment. Door. Door. My favorite classification. Hey, shoot! Ah, uh, it didn't go boom. I am the manual control. Disruptor ammo is useful against synthetic enemies like Mech or Geth. I really should use it more. But then my brain gets annoyed when I can't turn it off, because I'm dumb. And I should be able to turn it off, but I... Well, data pad. I steal so much money from the dead, yet here I am, uh, like, yet I lectured the goddamn looters. Uh, you can replace it with a different ammo to turn it off. Uh, plus, it's a free damage buff anyway. Fair. Ooh. 
Come on, get up. Uh, getting up makes you <laughs> intangible, apparently. Man, I wish that worked for me with flamethrowers. Come on, synths. Oh, we haven't fought you in a while. Since the frickin' uh, like first mission. Cover I go. Fight for me, Loki Mech. One less to worry about. I am running out of ammo. I need to get to that ammo after that turret goes. I don't fear you. The Watch music out. went away. The music went away? What is this? The Eden, Pro e Eden Prime audio glitch, but for music? <laughs> yeah. Alright. I'm gonna save so I can feel less guilty walking around. cover, so. I didn't know if it was, like, <laughs> considering there's stairs behind it, I thought maybe it's, like, a little overpass. Alright, this looks like the place they want us to go, so we go through door. Wall safe. Research log. Received an SOS from Atlas Station. Archer has declared a project emergency. We're trying to Huzzah. Apparently it didn't like me taking its metagel. Then again, it's a VI, it doesn't need metagel. I I went past its neck. Careful. Leave my doctor alone. My scare he scary will kill you and your entire species, Doctor. Ah, oh, frick. Double frick. All right, uh, arc time. And now, you're mine! It's gonna blow! Huzzah. I should've put on my sniper. Then again, he got full ammo anyway. At the same time, going back to my low MI, scavenging when I told looters not to loot. Uh, this isn't really all that looting. I'm working for Cerberus, and this is a Cerberus outpost, so, you know. I, and it's just, in, it basically, it's a bounty for putting things back in Cerberus's hands. So. It's not really looting. Lol. Mech, what you do? What the mech doing? <laughs> what? It was surrendering! It was surrendering! Leave the boy alone! This is not at all Paragon! Oh, I wanted to see it jump through the window. <laughs> Then again, I guess it was trying to destroy the lock thingy. Are you receiving this? Commander Shepard, this is Dr. Archer. Please respond. I hear you, Doctor. We've hit the override at Falcon Station and are moving on. <laughs> Just gonna shoot it. No, no. See, it was gonna blow up anyway. Oh, no, Garrus shot it. 
Shepard out. So that kind of means that Garrus got Renegade points, and that's bad. I taught you better at the Dr. Hart situation, Garrus. Why well, you have to shoot the literally armless mech? Granted, it was learning to kick. All right, now we need to be on the lookout for five more cerebra. Uh, cere My brain is just trying to reconcile like Cerberus, Cerebrus, and it all gets blah 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 up inside the head. Although I have to say, you already did this joke. Although I have to say, why would shooting a mech in the head when it's ar armless be considered a renegade option? I kind of want to know. Looking for anything that could be proven to be important. Scans indicate VI infection is present in nearby turrets. I didn't even know there was a turret there. Granted, once they started shooting at me, I probably would have known. Give me these research data. Just in case. Alright, since we're passing this by. Oh, wait, that's not a turret. That's just like a crane. Threat detection. Enemy units nearby. But I am the unit. Seems to be maybe the way, or maybe a roundabout way. We're going to go the opposite way. Because we must get all data packets. I don't know what it does, but it'll do a thing. I just realized that it is potential that it, the data packets might give us an edge in this here mission. Who knows? I am paranoid. After <laughs> Two things make me paranoid at all times with this game. First off was Vermeer. Just... Vermeer makes me paranoid about anything Mass Effect now. Second is the game's like, oh yes, my Medal of Honor. And it's like, oh, it's just view achievements. I view the achievements and I see the most harrowing thing. Definitely a spoiler. Not sure if I lament or thank the spoiler from the achievement list inside the game. Literally. But I am now forever afraid. Forever and ever afraid, afraid. Ever so paranoid of my choices. Alright, that's a weird texture thingy. Then again, this is free DLC. I cannot complain. Yeah, we came from there. I want to come up here. Wee! Ah, this isn't anything. I wanted it to be something, but it's not. All right. Ow! <laughs> but I just gotta say, I kind of love that when they decided, hey, let's add like uh, planetary exploration missions for free DLC, <laughs> and they're like, but we need a vehicle. Remove the wheels. 
<laughs> the first thing that they did was remove the goddamn wheels. I respect them for it. Oh, I thought we could come through here, but it's just a lake. And there doesn't appear to be any data packages down there. So we leave. And just by removing the wheels, they have made this thing completely wonderful control. And also, they let it strafe. And because it can do that without wheels. So yeah, this is like a complete and utter amazing upgrade from the Mako missions. Also, no goddamn mountain cauldrons. That, that was the worst part of the Mako missions. Just frickin' cauldrons that you get stuck in because there's only one minor way of getting out. Give the data. The data's mine. Whee! Yeah, overall, Mass Effect 2 is blowing things out of the water. The only thing that's still, along with the, 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 uh, uh, I guess I hit a wall. I thought it was an invisible wall, but maybe it was a normal wall. I'm confused. That is ruins. Why press F when I can just drive? I thought I went all over the place. Where's the final data pack? Maybe it's in here? Maybe it's on the way to Atlas? Or no, where are we at Atlas? Come along with me. But considering all the five others we're in the pseudo-overworld. Well, he goes to assume that the last one will also be in the pseudo-overworld. But who knows? Commander Shepard, Prometheus Station is a crashed Geth ship full of dormant machines used Of course it is! Our people there have gone silent. It's likely the VI has activated the defense shields to keep you out. Good luck. Oh, it just wants me to throw myself Stay down. Die! Well, that's not... Oh, thank you! The VI is dumb. Shoot me! Shoot me! <laughs> Shoot me! Shoot me! Probably should have been right on top of it. Stupid rocks. Rockets directly down. Very poor decision. Is it not shooting at? Nope, nobody has to turn. How is it shooting out? I do not fear no, no death cannon. Entry into the ship is now clear. And whatever this is. Oh, we needed that. Well, we want that. Because all out of everything, platinum is our lowest. Neutralized all hostiles. We just got out of our, our hammerhead. Oh no. You agree to assume all liability for personal injuries or death that may occur during your visit. Thank you. Oh no, 
Why is it a big geth boy? Why is it a big geth boy and it's floating up and down? Big geth boy, up and down. Well, you got what you wanted. Hopefully it doesn't activate and hunt us down through this, this entire thing. I'm scared, mummy. Mummy, he's scared. Gotta say, why? <laughs> they had to make the horror section, of course. Screaming at us. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Once again, I say, why make this a base of operations? I understand studying it to a degree. It is. Music. Music has been approved for station wide broadcast. This does not help. Well, obviously, we're going to be able to access that sometime. These platforms are going to goddamn move. get things to move. Oh. Feels like it's needed, but I'm gonna get over to that platform to get the bonus things. While the creepy music plays in the background to taunt me forever. Aha! Three heavy weapon ammo. But I want to be the heavy weapons man. Alright, cycle. Cycle. Once I actually learned how to cycle through things and what they meant, that actually was easy. I'm gonna get obliterated now, aren't I? I'm gonna save. I'm scared. One of these days, the Geth will wake up, and we'll all die laughing. Let me guess. Geth wakey wakey? Wait, why was it leading us here? 
That's something to wonder about. In the first place, it was either trying to... I knew this was too easy. It was either trying to destroy the override or activate the override. Come on, let's move. Oh wow, it's been a while since we've done this. Uh, that one. Epic music to hack to. Well, time to fight our way through all the gap. Hostile gap activity detected. Armed response is authorized. Service reminds all personnel that this emergency is now classified information. Disclosure to outside parties is a violation of your confidentiality agreement. That's kind of hilarious. This emergency is now classified information. Because of course it is. I hate that sometimes it doesn't uh, just hold. Oh. Hello, Hunter. And my boy Garrus is already dead. Unite! Destroy the rockets first. Come on, that's totally an opening. Okay, just want to make sure there's nothing. What else to, to worry about? What did your audio overlap? One less to one less to. That's the hell. Take it down, boys. And by boys, I mean me. I am the boys. Hot oh, damn it's a ship. Destroy a man. Why are you running towards us, my boy? You only have it. Too much wake up, I guess. And need I say again, this be why I do not like Cerberus. Far too much risk. Lol. No longer lol. Credits, but credits are not what they used to be. Credits of Max Effect 1. 
I mean, you just have to look to, like, the deflation. Or would it be inflation? Because I had, like, three million. And then it all became, like, 300... No, 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 no that's just, like, a, a hundred thousand. Team kill by the enemy in this kind of game. You can apply disruptor to the pistol as well. Oh, I thought that was like, uh, like all around. But I guess that no, you have to do it per weapon. Understood now. Did not know that. Mainly because I don't swap uh, weapons that much. Because normally I don't need to. I just snipe. But I shall keep that in mind for the future. When change weapon, you have to reapply ammo. You'll see a little blue uh, symbol on the gun. Yeah, my brain kind of, for whatever reason, kind of uh, overlooks it. I probably shouldn't. Being aware of the status of your gun is quite important, I would say. I think this is uh, heavy weapon time. Mega Geth? Oh, it's just a Geth Prime. Well, it's just a Geth Prime. Because of shot ready. Leave my team alone. Pistol for the hunter. Less spam, more aim. Then again, there's probably going to be Geth pouring out of every orifice. I thought you were scary. <laughs> Just to get prime. I went T pose there for a moment. Alrighty. Once again, wish that there was a map map for these sections. Because I would love to be able to actually look at where I've been a bit better. Because I still need to find one Cerberus package. Commander, you've done it. The lockdown has been cancelled. You can now breach Atlas Station and end this nightmare. You'll need to find the main server room there to shut down the VI experiment. Good luck. I'm just looking for any nook or cranny the final thing could be. It's obviously going to be at a outpost of some kind, but I thought I've already been to all of them. Geographic conditions indicate an aesthetically pleasing view nearby. Yes, yes. May wish to take note. Well, you already took note, so I guess you're an organic life form. Hammerhead, what have you been keeping from us? Now I need to double, triple check everything. Need to find it, need to find it. We'll try to avoid running over the innocent creatures of the world. We're in the money. In <gasps> cave, 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 
mighty gas, mighty treasure in a cave. <laughs> I wonder what that will do. I get a new companion. David, the VI Menace. He has a romantic comedy with Eddie. We just plug all the AI and VI that we come across into the, the Normandy. They create a little VI colony. Open sesame. Atlas will be Hercules and bear the weight of the world. Well, the sky. Same thing. Sky is very big. Do not fear. We are the good creepy ship. I thought this mission was going to be quicker than it was. Looks like you're in, Commander. Good. Because uh, after this, I'll probably have to end things, because this is going on for a damn long time. how things are. So now we're... I punch you, David. He's playing games with me. Oh, so multiple reasons for bad things happening. The danger should be negligible. David might enjoy it. Arriving at level two. I just realized there are geth in here. That's not good. Resetting elevator. Resetting elevator. Why does elevator. that control the elevator? Arriving at level two. Arriving at level four. Two, Arriving four. At level six. Eight. System malfunction. Oh, great. It's a puzzle. Arriving at level two. Arriving at level four. Arriving at level six. Arriving at level three. Arriving at level five. Interesting. Arriving at level seven. Oh. Bloody Geth Prime behind the door! Alright, thank you, Ark. Man, the Geth Art's up cleaning. David is angry. Get David. David, me scared. You just keep on laying on that, huh? 
All right, let's see. Did I miss it? No, there it is. And then green, purple. Fiddly D. I don't like that they move. Oh, hey, damaged gap. This is valuable. Decelerator offline. Serious injury may occur. No duh. He's gonna ram something through a wall. Okay, that's an interesting thing, David. Where is David? Is David here right now? Get ready. I wouldn't be surprised if this button summoned a reaper. <laughs> Give me your body! That's probably always what it is doing. What? Oh. It kinda did. I am David now. So David is a Protean beacon now. Quick, someone get Dr. Tassoni. There are also jokes that I could make that I refuse to. Because they would be off color. Huh. This seems to be a waste of ammo. I think go to pistol. Bioware, I don't think autism the gives you the ability to speak, Gath. Eureka, David. You're a miracle worker. I'm just going to say that. That does not really seem to be a thing. David, can you repeat my notes from Thursday's experiment? Square root of 918.09 is 30.3. David, please pay attention. Loud. It's getting loud in here. I'm sorry, you didn't deserve that. Would you mind repeating my notes from Thursday's experiment? Log 137.3. The experiment yielded no discernible patterns of geth obedience. End dictation now, David. Hell, the elusive man will have my head for this. Thank you. <laughs> and he uses his brother <laughs> as a Siri. Earplugs would be good. <laughs> Earplugs would be good. I don't think that's How's how things doing? work. David is a mathematical savant. His autistic mind can interpret the Geth language at its most basic form and mimic their fanatics. With his photographic memory cross-referencing the meaning as a snap, he's literally a human computer. And you think he can interface with the Geth's neural network? I do. Is that even safe, Doctor? I see no harm in finding out. Well, look around us and see. Okay, just go through the window? Yes, I do. Oh, I thought we would be friends. I 
I don't even know where the last of that damage was coming from. I thought we were going to be friends. Great, now we have to go through all this. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. David, can you repeat my notes from Thursday's experiment? Square root of 918.09 is 30.3. I David, just thought we were going to be geth friends. Attention. Loud. It's getting loud in here. I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Would you mind repeating my notes from Thursday's experiment? Log 137.3. The experiment yielded no discernible patterns of geth obedience. End dictation now, David. Hell, the elusive man will have my head for this. Thank you. And how are you feeling today? Square root of 924.16 is 30.4. Earplugs would be good. David, I want you to order the geth to take a step forward. mathematical savant. His autistic mind can interpret the Geth language at its most basic form and mimic their fanatics. I think all of this is a big old David will remember this. The meaning is a snap. He's literally a human computer. And you think he can interface with the Geth's neural network? I do. Is that even safe, Doctor? No. I see no harm in finding out. <laughs> I like snipers. Far away, major damage. And this is also why we can't be friends with Geth. They're like, hey, let's be friends. Yeah, they are no longer friends. I shall teach David the meaning of larceny. Try my best, David. Stop running! I literally shot a digital connection. Fear me! Gonna, nope, there's gonna be Geth in the, the, these here hills. Oh, come on. Gotta love T posing Geth. They're the most majestic thing in the world. I'm gonna fucking save again, because I'm scared, David. Huh. Magical flying blood. Square root of nine hundred twelve point oh four is thirty point two. Why, dudes? We're ready. Open a connection to the gas network. This looks painful. And all of the gas are screaming at him. That's what it was. Oh no, that's not what I'm trying to shoot. Now I need to shoot the core. I know. Well, first we'll do that. This is great against armor. Oh, damn it. No waste of time. How? Oh, there. Oh. 
Damn it, there's multiple now. you, David. Definitely an interesting boss fight. What he did to his fucking brother. Jesus fucking Christ! This is why I hate Sir! I thought he was just in a chair! They didn't even give him a fucking chair! Wait. Commander! I'm begging you. Don't do anything rash. This is an atrocity. Rash. Like forcing your own brother into an experiment? I know how this must look, but I never intended any harm to come to him. Look you at his fucking his... eyes, his neck, it's you shoved tubes this. down his throat. It was an accident. Seeing David communicate with the Geth, it all seemed harmless. Until people started dying. And before you knew it, you were writing your own private hell. I had no choice. The demands were incredible. The elusive man doesn't broke a failure. Any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody. I was asked to find a way to avoid that. You failed. And how many have already died for this project? More souls than will ever forgive me. But I won't apologize for radical ideas. You didn't even if give him a fucking chair. A million mothers mourning the loss of a million sons. My conscience will rest easy. You made him suffer. Look at him. Your brother will never be the same. The damage may not be permanent. He might recover some semblance of his mind. Cerberus will exploit Cerberus him. Cerberus will never leave him alone. Your brother will always be a lab rat. You're a well cared for lab rat. This is not well cared for! At least he'd still be alive. He's an innocent victim. So you'll sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition. You didn't even give him a fucking chair! Square room. 6.01 What I've done to David is unethical. If he dies, it's unforgivable. Let me take care of him. Please. Quiet. Please make it stop. David is coming with me. I've seen enough of your cruelty to know he'll never be free from it here. I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! You even think about coming after your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you. Then we'll see who's valuable. Where will you take him? Somewhere away from you. Grissom Academy. They can help special cases like David. Minus the torture. Joker, contact the Academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. Badly. The elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. Seriously, 
Forcing his eyes open, making him bleed, not even giving him a chair, just hanging him over a pit. Just like, no, man. No. No. Mission summary the Rogue VI was successfully shut down. But the test subject was taken to a non-Cerberus facility for care. While this is a considerable setback for Cerberus, Dr. Archer's research will be instrumental in devising a safer approach to controlling Geth. And I got a, an upgrade. Got credits. Hell yeah. And palladium. This is... It's like, you know, I was warming up to Cerberus! I was warming up to Cerberus! Commander, you received and then in comes the this team. shit! Shepard, I understand you've taken Dr. Archer's brother to Grissom Academy. I'm familiar with their work. It should be a good home for him. I don't condone Dr. Archer's actions, but they did provide a breakthrough we've been sorely lacking thus far. We'll likely never find another individual of David's unique talents. Though your decision is understandable, it has set our efforts to understand the Geth back several years. You can understand the Geth on your own time. You know, when it isn't literally like I must I ha I ha I I I have a mouth and I must scream type shit there. No, I will not allow that. I will not allow that. We have the palladium to spare usually. Heavy weapon ammo. We have so much. Uh, da, da, da. Advanced training. Through intensive training, Shepard can learn to use a single bonus power. Obtaining more loyal squad members will increase the number of powers available for Shepard. Shepard can complete this research project multiple times. Each time the project is completed, Shepard selects a new bonus power, and any points already spent transfer to the newly selected bonus power. Okay. Oh, that's what that means. Okay, I did not know that. I do now. I'll take Cerberus Assault Armor, because I think it might be better armor than what I currently have, just by a little bit. Everything else can wait, just ever so slightly. I shall save and see if everybody wants to talk. Shepard, how can I help? I want to talk about you. you. Got a Some other time. Okay. Anything else? I'll let you. We'll be here if you need me. I shall go check and see if the Cerberus. Oh, well, this is not the way to the good lady. Receive bonus power. But now I understand what that meant. I thought it like uh. Not exactly sure what I thought. I was like, oh, I get more bonus powers. But technically that is true, but it's more like I get the access to those bonus powers. Oh, I can't even change the the design of stuff. This is cooler! And plus increases shields and stuff. So, yeah, we'll stay in Terminus. We're playing Fashion Souls here. But... That. Considering that took up much more time no, than I expected, we shall end things off here. Our second part of playing through Mass Effect 2. Oh, I'm loving it. We'll definitely continue some other time. We'll continue on my idea of doing all these side things that are apparently free DLCs. Uh, and then we'll head to the Citadel before we pick up the last two people. Because I don't know. I, I, I have... <laughs> I cons Considering the more linear nature of this, the more linear nature so far, I feel like once we accomplish enough of that, of uh, gathering up people, and I assume it would be, like, the main ones, because, like, uh, what's his name? 
Vide is like a DLC guy. So if we got him, it wouldn't affect the, oh, you need this and this, like, <laughs> Solus is more important than Vade, is basically what I'm talking about. And once we get all of the Solus and the Archangel, uh, Gallus, no, Garrus, not Gallus, but... But, like, once we get, like, all the Solus and Garrus characters on board, uh, we'll get hit with another thing. So I feel like I want to do all the side things first. Uh, as well as maybe get access to various things, like, <laughs> prepare for the hell that is potentially on the horizon. But, 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 but. That shall be it for now, because I did not expect Overlord to take that long. <laughs> But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have two YouTube channels where I try to post content to. One, an edited content YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, where I put my thoughts and opinions on various medias out there. And then an archive channel, Neon Icy Games, where I upload the VODs of this here stream there for archival purposes. And if you're already one of those people watching the archives, you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. And if you want even more from me, I try to upload various arts that I create to Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds, because art is a forsaken art form on the internet. All of them are at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you next time as we continue Mass Effect 2.